Uh? Uh? Flashbang warning, by the way. <laughs> I always feel the need to warn about that because Elden Ring has like a very bright startup screen because of the From Software logo being on a white background. There's like a funny meme about it where you just see like this grumpy guy open up Dark Souls and then you see his like entire face lit up for like a moment before it goes to like the Dark Souls menu. Good times, good times. Wait, I'm not trying to log in. I'm playing in offline mode. Hello, welcome back to Elden Ring. We're continuing the faith playthrough as per usual, because that's what we've been doing lately. And um, I want to keep going. I want to get to the bleed playthrough. The thing is, I shouldn't just rush to get to the bleed playthrough. I feel like I should be trying to appreciate the faith playthrough to its max, at the lack of a better word. And I think I am. But in the back of my mind, I'm like romanticizing the idea of the bleed build experience I had in Dark Souls 3. So I keep thinking about it. And that could be bad for two reasons. One, not appreciating this playthrough as much as I should be and like deep diving into the, the faith aspect of the game. And two, over romanticizing the bleed playthrough so that when I actually get to it, I'm going to let myself down. Right? Those are two very big threats that I need to be dealing with. Now, did I feel like I explored everything in the capital? I feel like I roughly did. Now, have we fought? Maybe we didn't fight the Erdtree Beast, did we? I have to go check. Maybe I ended up not fighting it. Just jump down this way, that's fine, right? We'll see if it pops up. It's like right next to this guy. And now it's very easy to see when I uh, check chats. I can see my eyes like darting over now. I'm trying some different face tracking and I can tell that my eyes are being tracked much more closely. So now it'll be very obvious if I'm reading chats. It was a little bit obvious before because I turned my head a little bit like this, but sometimes I'll just glance over like I do now and you might not be able to tell at all. Have I fought this guy? Considering nothing is happening, I think I have. I have like no memory of fighting this guy. So it must have gone exceptionally well. That's my only conclusion. I must have beaten him so easily that I can't even remember beating him. Must have been like a blip on the on the radar of en enemies we fought in this playthrough. I mean my fire weapon is quite good for dealing with those Ur tree enemies, I feel like. Once we transitioned into a fire weapon from a holy weapon, they became much, much easier. Something is in combat with me. Can I get back up on, like, the main avenue from here? Oh, this is where the shortcut is. I don't even know if you open that. That literally doesn't matter. That shortcut does nothing. Like, shortcuts in general in this game doesn't really matter all that much. And that's, like, a bit of a shame. That's, like, one of the, the drawbacks. It's not just of Elden Ring. It's of Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3, and to some extent, probably Dark Souls 2 as well. But for every iteration of these games, they kind of added more and more bonfires slash sites of grace that you can teleport to. And you also get access to teleportation either immediately or earlier in the game. And as a result, having shortcuts does very little for you because you can literally just teleport where you want to go. In this game, as long as you're not in combat, you don't even need to be at a bonfire to teleport. You just open the map and go straight to where you want to be. So shortcuts does like almost nothing for you. Whereas in Dark Souls 1, where for the first like half one third of the game ish you have no teleportation and even after unlocking teleportation you can't even teleport to every single bonfire you found in the game it's only like a select few and before they added the D dlc it used to be much much fewer bonfires you could teleport to in the first game and then they changed it so you could teleport a few more making it a bit more accessible I'm just going to sit on the, at the side of grace to not get into combat with that dude. So in Dark Souls 1, shortcuts felt very rewarding because you needed them to get around the world quickly because not everywhere could be teleported. And for a long part of the game, you didn't have access to teleportation. So they actually helped you 
get from point A to point B in a more safe manner. The situations where shortcuts are still helpful is if they make it so that there is a site of grace that is like somewhat far away from a boss and then you have to get to the boss but if you take another route near the boss without challenging the boss then you find a shortcut that leads back to the site of grace allowing you a quicker route to the boss every time you re-challenge the boss that makes shortcuts valuable but in this game you don't even need that because they added the stake america system where you can respawn on stakes even though they aren't sites of grace so they take in almost all, if not every single reason, to have a shortcut, and they just offered a better alternative, but left shortcuts in the game as kind of like something that doesn't really do anything. If anything, the only thing a shortcut does is helps uh, invaders find you faster. That's one thing I can see them doing, which isn't an argument for opening shortcuts. If anything, it's an argument for not opening shortcuts. It gives invaders a way to get to you faster and an indication of how far to the level you have progressed. Which is always something I used shortcuts for back in like Dark Souls 1. When uh, I did a little bit of invasions back in Dark Souls 1, I would check if a shortcut was open and I would be like, okay, this shortcut is, oh, is open? That probably means they're in the later part of this area because they've already opened this. I don't have enough experience with invading in this version, in this game, to know if that is a good way of tracking the targets when you invade, or if there is an alternative way to do it in this game that renders shortcuts even more redundant. Considering there's so many sites of grace and stakes of America, it wouldn't surprise me if there's probably more spawn points that the invader can appear from, and you always appear closer to the target than you might have used to in previous games. Oh, not this guy. Wait, this dog doesn't attack me, I've heard. My friend of mine. Oh, but this guy does, and I have no health. Uh, let me heal. Roll. Stab! Stagger! Stagger again! Stagger him again! Ooh! Ooh! Stagger him again! And again! <laughs> Sometimes it's really nice to have a big sword, honestly. It just makes life easier. And then again, I guess sometimes it just makes life harder because the enemies are too fast and you can't hit them. Such as Melania, I'm concerned about. Because uh, hitting Melania with the Dark Moon Greatsword was already difficult enough. It was made easier by the fact that I was combining both the Mimic, gray, uh, what, mimic Ashes and Sorceries to create openings for myself to hit the Greatsword. Now, this is a colossal greatsword, so it should be slower in theory, and I don't have the same tools that I would use to create openings for myself, so I'm not sure how I'm going to handle Belania. If she's vulnerable enough to holy damage, then perhaps I could just use the... what are they called? Cypher Pata? Thing is, I suspect she's probably not going to be vulnerable to holy damage. Maybe she would even be resistant to it because she is descendant of a deity, as far as I understand it. And that's grounds for being resistant to holy damage, as far as I'm concerned. And she's probably vulnerable to fire because she is uh, kind of like embodying the Scarlet Rots. Like, in best case scenario, she might be neutral to holy, but I think she's probably going to be some resistant. And she's probably going to be weak to fire. So finding a way to utilize the uh, God Slayer Greatsword is probably going to be more beneficial for me than... Uh... Trying to use the Cypher Pata. There's a lot of enemies that are coming up to bother me. Are 
are you not taking more damage? Why are you getting new shields so frequently? Oh, that's not good. It would be fun to see those perfumers use the uh, the iron skin perfume. So hitting these guys with a freaking colossal sword is difficult. How about a whip? That should be decent. I like having the whip. Anything else to grab in this area? Was there like any chests on those? Was there even any carts on the bottom here? Uh, there's one there. I should check if that has a chest on it. I don't remember there being one, but that could also just mean I never checked before. Because I don't remember checking it specifically and there also not being one. I just don't remember ever finding anything significant in this area before other than the... Um, Enemy in the back. The dog. Okay, there's no chest on this side. This is the place where you fight, like, all those uh, Erd Tree... ...creatures and get the Erd Tree favor plus two, isn't it? Once the entire place gets covered in ash. Makes me wonder if there's, like, a specific reason why this area gets so many of those corrupted Erd Beasts. Also, what if, like, the whole urn tree... Oh, did my controller die? I can't move. No, I can move. That was weird. Like, the fact that there are those urn tree beasts, and there's even, like, the celestial-looking one as, like, the final boss of the game. Doesn't that kind of feel like the urn trees is almost just, like, a giant, um... Almost conspiracy? Where... The trees are essentially the cocoons of the earth tree beasts that they use to grow and come into existence and they draw nourishment from not only the land itself but also the people of the land since they keep talking about like when you die you get reabsorbed by the earth tree supposedly and also when you see like the roots of the minor earth trees underneath the catacombs there's like a bunch of bodies in the roots doesn't that kind of just make it seem like the earth trees are eating people to grow and turn into beasts, and we might just be, uh, victims in this scenario. But we've been, like, friggin' radicalized into thinking that we are, um... serving our own self-interest by growing these trees. So that's where you get Flame Drake plus one. And where do I get Flame Drake plus two? Because I have Flame Drake plus two. And I always tend to get that before I go here. This is a trap. I almost forgot. I thought three hits was enough to stagger. I guess it's four hits. Bonk. Bonk. And you are still alive. Landon Knight Armor. lives I would love it if you could just take the horse afterwards Is the horse gonna attack me if I get too close to it I mean it makes sense it's frightened oh yeah 
becomes massive, right? That's the thing. Don't you even think about it. What do you give? Just somber six. Such a weird beetle. We're giving nothing unique. Also, it's after crossing the bridge to the Divine Tower after this, I have to fight the Fell Omens, right? The double Fell Omens. Which is probably... It has to do with Morgoth in some way, right? It has to do with Morgoth, Margit, and uh, Mog in some way. I'm not sure what the significance is. Because they're all Fell Omens, too. The question is, are the two Fell Omens I'm fighting just two actual Fell Omens? Or are they metaphoric in some ways? They could be representations of a younger Mog, Morgoth, or Margit. If only I knew the the connection between them, but I don't. I don't know who's the sibling, who's the father, who's the son, who's the what now. I thought he would stagger. I can't heal fast enough. You hit really hard, actually. Uh, I pressed to heal, but it didn't. Okay, I swear I hit roll there. I'm dead. That's actually... I think that's the first time I've ever died to these guys. Because I know I can stagger them very easily, but I think I kept hitting them during hyper armor. And I need to get the stagger chain going so that I can stance break him and then get like big damage in before his friend shows up. Because I think the idea is one of them runs up to you, his friend walks up to you. I should have definitely grabbed a sight of grace. I'm gonna run back up there now. It's not even a stake of Marika though. That would have been nice. <laughs> Me just complaining about like shortcuts not, not having any value. Uh, partial due to stakes of America and I'm complaining about not having a stake of America. Then again, in my defense, there was also no shortcut there, so... <laughs> I guess the shortcut would have been uh, continuing on to the, um, the path to the mountain, grabbing the side of grace there and taking the elevator back up. But I don't want to take an elevator back up and down, nah. I'm just gonna go straight to the boss again and just assume I'm not gonna lose again. And if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, well, oh well, hindsight is 2020 or something. Also, I can tell that the allergy season is, like, starting. Like, my eyes are feeling more tired and dry than usual. I feel like I have a harder time breathing than usual. It's not so prominent yet that... ...that it bothers me. So to speak. Like, th if this is as bad as it's gonna get, then that's fine with me. But it's not gonna be. There's gonna be a period, probably a long period, where I'm sneezing non-stop, red eyes, covered in goop. Disgusting nose goop. Yeah, it's not gonna be pleasant. But I'm gonna do my best to find a way to stream during those conditions. Worst case scenario, I just stream on mute. Mostly, most likely I'll be um, streaming while, while muting myself every time I sneeze. Because when I sneeze, I don't, like, from allergies, when I sneeze from allergies, I don't sneeze once, I sneeze on combos. I have like, three to nine sneezes in a row back to back, and then a break, and another three to nine sneezes in a row back to back. And that gets old real fast. The fun thing is that if I do that, you'll still get to see uh, me twitching out and like a crazy person on the face tracking, which is going to be, I guess, hopefully humorous to some extent. Because I'll just randomly go quiet, but you can see me moving around all sporadically and you'll be like, yep. He is, uh, sneezing his brains out. You're so 
people following me? You sure you want to do that? I'm not getting the water break attack and now I killed the horse because of it. I blame the game for that one. I really like this outfit though. I also kind of like that since I have the character designed to have a blindfold by default and this hood comes with a face mask on it. You almost can't see my face at all which just kind of makes it uh, a bit spooky. So where do my runes end up? Usually before I enter the boss fight, I have time to like beat this guy. I don't... Did I fight this guy before entering the boss fight like that last time? I didn't, did I? No, I entered way before. There's my runes. Thank you. Okay, apparently I have horrible dodge timing. You can't hit me that far. Let's try this. Nope, that was not worth it. Hindsight is 2020 and all that. I'm gonna have to run all the way back over again. Great, fantastic. I set myself up for that. <laughs> if I did a little bit more lightning damage, it would have been fine, but no. I saw I knew the risk. I knew the risk that if I tank too many hits, depending on the attacks he does while in animation here, I'm gonna just get shots. He's gonna do more damage to me than I'm gonna do to him. And now we're running back all over again. If only I could set the running back to be an autopilot so I could pour myself a glass of soda while I'm running. But I don't have enough arms for that. Now, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I had the sad realization that if humanity had more arms, it wouldn't help me do things like eat while playing video games, because the video game controllers would be designed to use all the arms. We would just have more co uh, complex control schemes. I mean, games would probably be really cool as a result of that, but... I still wouldn't be able to eat or drink something while playing video games. At this point, I should try to send the elevator down before I go off it, but I'm not sure if you can on this elevator. Because I think it locks you in. Maybe if you're quick, you can get off it in time. a lever too. Well, it doesn't lock me in? Okay, it doesn't lock me in. Okay, then I can probably send it down as long as I manage to jump off before it goes too far down. The problem is it is a lever, which means there's going to be an animation. If it was a button, it would be quite easy because you just run over the button. Oh, well, try it for science. And then just run. Boop. That's not a problem at all. I don't want this guy to snipe me in the back as I'm crossing the bridge, to be honest. Summer took five hits to stagger him. Look how he's just watching. He doesn't care. Not his problem. Are we still gonna fight? What 
What is the hood I'm using called? Black hood. Where did I get this? Doesn't really say. I do like this one too. Kind of works. One by Assassins of Raven Mount. Hold on. Don't I have like a. No, that's not Raven Mount. No, no, no. Warden by Assassins of Raven. So this. And this would go together. That's kind of neat too. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of like feathered capes. I prefer something a bit more plain. That's why I like this one. Kind of just works. The only thing I would change about this cape is I would remove the insignia. I don't know what it represents. I'm just gonna be someone that's gonna walk up to me at some point and be like, Oh, you like that band, huh? And I'm like, I have no idea what band this is. Right, third time's the charm. Hey, welcome Eduardo, though. How's it going? And also, hello, ir irrelevant. How's it going? Welcome both of you. I'm gonna charge him. Ah, uh, did not work in my favor. I'm gonna heal and try to stay at full HP, to be honest. Oh, didn't roll. Camera? Why does he always kick? time, to be honest. There we go. What a doubt, just R1 spam. They're called Felt Twins. And one has like a lot of horns on them. There was some lore on the uh, Morgoth stuff that said something about, like, when a royal fell omen is born, they don't have their horns trimmed or something. Bonk. I don't remember how much I get from this, but I'm gonna take the chicken foot just in case. Ah, 45k. That's not a lot. How much is the level up now? Have you passed 90k? 95k, damn. The Morgoth rune. The Morgoth rune is the one that gives max HP, isn't it? Honestly, best rune. I mean, my Melania rune is probably my favorite conceptually, but I'm not sure if it's strong enough to actually warrant using. Maybe it's good in PvP. And now is a good excuse to pour myself a glass of soda because I'm on an elevator. No, no, I can't even say elevator properly. I'm on an elevator. I love the bell sound when you climb these towers. Reminds me of the Tower of Gods in Waker.
I mean, if those two fell omens or representations of Mogwin, no, of uh, Morgoth and someone else, would make the most sense for it to be Mog, because they both have great runes, whereas Margit doesn't have a great rune. So I guess what makes more sense if Margit is the son of one of them, or even completely unrelated. Did I activate this? I did. Seems like I still have a small seizure whenever I drink, even with this face tracking, which is a good thing. It's insane to me how big this tree is. Makes it both a good thing and a bit of a shame that it's not a level centered around the tree. I mean, I guess you have a level centered around the Halic tree, which is similar, right? I mean, the Halic tree is probably smaller, but still sizable. Do we have the Halic tree on the map? We won't, don't, right? We won't have that until we go to the mountaintops. Also, there should be a hidden door at the back here. Ugh. Yoink. Blade of Calling. I've looked at this one before and I always forget what it is. Blade of Calling. It is a faith weapon. Oh, is this, um... Uh, Molina's dagger? Probably is, isn't it? Now it actually has a bit more meaning to me. That's pretty much the exact... skill of... Black Knife. And it does mention how the one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. And then this is a representation of destined death to some extent. Wouldn't be cool if there was some special interaction if you dual wield them. If anything, it's a cool... Uh, dual wield dagger faith uh, setup. But I feel like if I were to dual wield daggers, I'd rather have be like a bleed thing or like a status thing. If you could combine the um, Ashes of War for them, that would be cool. That would make me consider dual wielding them. If you, for some reason, if you wield them both and you do the Ash of War instead of shooting one uh, projectile, you shoot two in like rapid succession. jump character. I know there's like a couple of areas you can kind of like run to around this side here. Not sure if any of them give anything of significance.
big skull. Seed. We now have three, two to go. Wait, I've already entered combat with you. I was going to summon, um, Millicent, is that too late now? Oh, chill, 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 chill. I want to summon Millicent. There she is. Oi, chill, I'm trying to summon Millicent, okay? Alright, give it some time. We'll fight soon. That was a horrible dodge. <laughs> I wanted to close the gap because when he has the axe is when it's the easiest to fight. Should stagger soon, right? No? Why do you stagger soon or I die soon? There we go. Am I dead? Nope. Not yet. Anyways. Ooh. and take care of yourself. Again? That seems excessive, don't you think? Oh, dodge it this time. Millicent, no! She never lives. I swear I should be really close to stagger, but I'm not getting it. Oh, there's the L. Really? That hit me. Ah, okay, I actually do die. It just wouldn't let me have a second to actually hit him. He kept moving around. At least maybe we can save uh, Millicent this time, though. Hey, Rex, welcome. How's it going? Alright, Millicent. Can join us once more. Let's use some eye laser. Eye laser is fun. If I can find the eye laser. It's not this. I cannot find the eye laser in time. What weapon am I using? God Slayer? Yeah, it's God Slayer. Whoa. Okay, where's my eye laser? There's my eye laser. Have an eye laser. Now. I'm also using uh, Cypher Panda. Every now and then. Depends on the resistance of the enemy. But since most enemies seem to be resistant to holy damage, I'm mostly using God Slayer. <laughs> Hit him. 
Oh, I lasers just because it's fun. I like shooting lasers out of my eyes. She got to live this time. Okay, this would be kind of a fun weapon to use, though, to be honest. Oh, it doesn't have a fancy weapon art? Huh. Or is it because I have no FP? Ah, oh, well. Still cool, though. tiny people. More faith! You gotta believe! Going up. Tops of the Giants. But when will I get a desert area? I feel like none of these games have like proper desert areas. And I really want one. Like they can even put like a poison oasis in it. Yoink, give me the map. Map found. No, not these ruins. I hate these ruins. How's it going, Shabriri? Finally, we meet the tarnish. This is my first playthrough. This is my third playthrough. First one was quality build. Second one was intelligence build. Now we're doing faith build. Next one will be arcane. Previously acquainted with this vessel, well. That is most unfortunate. As for his flesh, I hope you can make your... You were about to sacrifice the life of it only so that... What a hope your ascendancy... But how would the... Chosen tarnished... Spare... If you are up and attain and heed... 
chosen to descend into Sigordi if you inherit, and the girl setting you the path burn and inspire. Uh, May chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Chosen descend into Sigordi. Yeah, I want a proper desert area, though. I don't think, like, the Radon area or the uh, place you fight the Gale in Dark Souls 3 is a proper area. I need, like, a full-blown, like, place you explore. Like, you can slap some ruins in there that you explore, maybe some tunnels. Friggin' pyramid. Give me a pyramid temple. damage do I do to you? Oh, not enough. Your friend saw me, you saw me, everybody saw me. I am so dead, I can't even get over this tiny rock. Maybe they don't know I'm down here. Wouldn't that be great? Bell bearing three. Did he actually forget about me? Three of them. I hate these guys. <laughs> There's always like at least two of them. Guys are the worst. Maybe they like lightning. Maybe they like beating me to the ground and then throwing me around. What ending am I going for? Oh, I don't know, don't know what kind of endings there are. Don't tell me. I've only done, uh, uh, I've done Friends in Flame, and then I've done Ronnie Sunday. So I'm trying to get something other than those, basically. Can these guys not be so annoying? the second one. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool down. Pun intended. Of course he runs away. Give me healing. What places have I been to this so far in this playthrough? Uh, I've been pretty thorough in this playthrough, I would say. So, like... I guess in the depths, what remains for me to do is fight Estelle. I haven't fought Estelle in the depths yet. But I have fought the Lich Dragon. So I need to go... I need to go through here. This I haven't done yet. 
And apart from that, I've been, I would say, most places. I haven't fought uh, Rykard because I am doing this quest line, the Volcano Manor requests. So I didn't want to fight Rykard before finishing those because then it probably prevents me from continuing those. Oh, hi! Ah, I couldn't roll this time, it's out of stamina. This staggers you, right? Yes, it does. Or stance breaks you, whatever you want to call it. Give me healing. I demand healing! There we go. Ooh, arterial leaves. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, I'm just gonna rest and then keep going. I can talk to Melina here. I guess I should. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own. I have set my regardless. I won't allow not even. Not even me. Beetle? Hardcore parkour! Ugh. Oh, that's not enough. Somber 7. I'll take it. But I think now is Somber 8, though. I'll probably get a bunch of Sombra 8 and the mines on the west side of the snowfield. Uh, bird. Don't like birds. Is there any enemy I like? Um, giant iron balls. <laughs> They're fun. I don't remember what this catacomb is like. Which is probably not a good thing. Because I feel like I remember all my favorite ones. Oh, but we get the death root here. That's nice. Hello, friend. Of course you back off, why wouldn't you? Typical. <laughs> Always one around the corner. It's actually more surprising when there isn't. Door to the side. Either side. Staircase. Okay. This 
is one of the worst catacombs in the game. I really like the one with the... Um, all the extra, like, chariots in the east end of Altus Plateau, where you fight the double earth tree crucible knights at the end. That one's fine. Imagine if it went even more down, that would be hilarious. <laughs> now, do I actually get to stab you in the back, or is there going to be another one that stabs me in the back? Because that would be very typical as well. Oh, I love these guys, and I love them, I mean, ugh. Wanna get up here? What if you like stay down there so you can't hit me? No, you can't. And now I didn't roll at all. And too early. <laughs> I swear these guys are the easier ones to dodge too, because you can just listen for the sound. I don't need to look at them, I can just listen to the magical sound. Well, this is nice enough to put me at the bottom, so I don't have to take the entire elevator over again. Where are you? Can you fit in here? Oh god, you can't! Oh, this is awful! I hate this! <laughs> Why would I do that to myself? <laughs> Back. Really? How am I not dodging? So he hits very hard. Oh, uh, no roll, okay. Don't bunk me twice, no! Uh, heal game? I would love to roll when I try to roll, but I'm not rolling apparently. How much health does he have? There's way too much health on this dude. That's what I get for leveling a bunch of, um... Faith instead of leveling my HP. Yeah, that's unfortunately the uh, consequence of making an open world game is that there's probably gonna be some reputation in terms of uh, level design and enemies. Swing twice. How did you do that? Oh, I finally got to stagger you. Let me hit you. No, you douchebag. I hate you. Ugh. Really? I'm dead now. Unless he does something stupid like that. 
Don't spin attack me. Of course you spin attack me. You love spin attacking me. That was just a tip. Stab him in the chest. Bonk. Now there's gonna be like 50 more of them. Yeah, I don't plan to pick up any strength on this run. Other than the bare minimum to just use weapons. Because I'm mostly trying different faith things. So I'm fine with just having the faith scaling component of a weapon and not the strength part of it. I have your roll? I do have your roll. I mean, the normal hits on the weapon still scale with faith. The weapon probably needs to be upgraded past plus seven because it's a bit um, falling off a bit. I do have this as well, which I like using when there's enemies not resistant to holy damage, which I could be using now. place now. Early. <laughs> I hit box though. Does it breathe this way as well? No. Don't spin. Like it when you spin. Give me my chest. Fire monk ashes. Woo! Just in case. I feel like I vaguely remember this catacomb now. Check this, didn't I? Double check just to be sure. Yoink.
would be a shame if I had no healing. And some random imp ambushed me. Is it going to be a big one? Don't know what I meant to do, game! I tried to jump. I don't know why I didn't jump. stagger at all from this. I guess this weapon has next to no stagger. Yeah, I used Catch Flame a lot early in the game to fight the different Urtree beasts. So I didn't have the fire weapon. I'll lock onto them. Like, I can see you, Pots. I know you're real. Come on, free aim. Free aim. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he lifted him up. <laughs> I love it. Does not intend to let me lock onto them? Okay. Do you really expect stagger from a glow stick? If I use the weapon art, the stagger is really good. Surprisingly, it staggers like a bell bearing hunter in three hits. So if the glow stick wants to stagger, it can stagger. It just usually doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, it's this one. This is another one of those like looping catacombs where they make you think you're going through the same place twice. It's 
Does that reach? Oh, it doesn't. That's a shame. Giant pots, giant pots. Yoink. You a little confused back there? Are you good? You don't have you got a hand? You how long is your fuse? Are you literally not gonna blow up until I get close to you? Alright, here we go. Am I close enough for you? That's where I'm supposed to go. But we gotta go the wrong way first. That's just rule number one of video games. We might not survive going the wrong way first, but that's a different matter entirely. That's not as important. That wasn't Alexander. I just love that they make it seem like it's the same room you're going through. But then when you turn the corner... It's massive! <laughs> Those guys can iron skin themselves. That's kind of fun. Are you now? Oh, I can't. Really? Even when you're iron skin? That's crazy. Probably only because it was close to being like guard broken, to be honest. Hello, friend. I can't attack because it's telling me about the heavy door. I found that so annoying. The message that says like a heavy door is open somewhere. It prevents you from like attacking and stuff.
kind of want to go back to a side of grace before we fight anything. Again, it would be kind of faster to just die to the boss. I was one of these guys. Barrels of fun. Stand still. Or tree beast says no. Are you gonna blow up now? Or try to grab me first. I'm sure you don't mind me using the flask and hitting you with this once before you blow up. Aw. You blow up now? Yeah. No, that's not blowing up. Ah, really? You'll blow up, right? Yep. Can I get away in time? Stop hiding around me now. Be nice. Okay, do like a fire breath or something. Nope, didn't want to. Stabby, stabby. Good riddance. Death Roots. I still want more faith. more soda.
I want to keep this equipped because I want to just see the animation on something. I haven't used, been using Lansex Glaive much recently. I mean, I haven't been using Skyrim Black Flame either much recently. Eh, we'll take this off for a bit. Play around with this rock. Where's the big rock? There we go. Big rock. When in doubt, throw a rock. If that has like similar stagger to sling, that would be great. Let's see which way is out of here. Have a rock. That's good damage. Pretty quick too, on the follow-up. Cheap as well. Have some rocks. I have a new hobby now. He does have good stagger. I love this, this is a great skill. Rocks versus fire. back. I take it back. It's not our route. Hey, Briars of Punishment. Can I use that? Probably. 21. Do I still get over encumbered if I equip the staff? Yes, I do. Yoink. He's taking aim. Stabby, stabby. No, 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 give me the animation. Ugh. Nope. Didn't manage to stand still properly in front of it. Are you even gonna let me target you now? Probably not. Don't push me off the edge. That would be funny, but don't push me off the edge. <laughs> Love fighting the golems are fun to stagger. Yeah, it's really nice with like enemies that have like very let's say over exaggerated weak spots. It feels really satisfying. Just toppling something massive by hitting them in a weak place. And you get 
gets so much the, like repose damage on them, like more than you do on anything else. So you get to see like some ridiculous numbers, and that's also fun. Ooh, somber eights. How many somber eights do I have? Do I only have one? Uh, I have two. Okay. Hey, Millis and Tassigo. To think we'd meet in such a could your bow call upon me again. I'm such I heard the mo indeed the halid tree. I'm searching I heard Just where I would like to be. Yoink! Traveling maiden sets. Isn't this where the symbol is? Is it close to the bridge? There we go. Juno Hoslow. Or Hoslow? Whatever he says. Ha the, the, the story of their house is written in blood or paid in blood. Or something blood. Hello. Oslau's Oath. What kind of helmet do you have? It's kind of a neat helmet. So you have dual wielding whips. That is kind of cool. Oh, that does a lot of damage. And you have Bloodhound Step. Now, how do you feel about rocks? Now, what if we have a whip off? Okay, maybe you win this. Maybe you win a whip off. You have two whips after all. It only makes sense. Ow! Right, give me, give me, some, give me some space. Give me some safe space. I know it's paid in blood and all, or written in blood, or something with blood. I know blood is important to you. Here, have some blood. <laughs> Stagger. You always guess when I'm about to, like, attack you. All of these people only have one flask. I have more flasks. The whip really should have more range. I feel like he deserves to take more of these. Really cool looking whips though. Chain whips or something like that? Like barbed wire whips? Pedal whip. I only get one, don't I? 
I want two of them. Paddle whip. Causes blood loss buildup. Metal whip formed of razor sharp chain link blades that have the appearance of flower petals. This work of art is handed down through the generations of the illustrious blood house Hoslow. High dexterity is required to wield the weapon, but it excels at inflicting devastating blood loss. The tale of House Hoslow is told in blood. That's that's what they say. That is pretty cool. Might be something to mess around with when we do the arcane playthrough with bleed. Arcane playthrough will probably be the one where I have the most incentive to do a new game plus just to get to every, every bleed weapon. This is the game that should have had those uh, bonfire aesthetics that Dark Souls 2 had. I should go back to the friggin' the volcano now. Assuming I can get out of combat with those guys. Do you want to rock? Where's my... There we go. So now we can finally fight Rykard. Bonfire aesthetics are a mechanic that should have stayed. It was kind of like a cool mechanic. It was kind of exploitable. But it was nice to be able to get, like, dupes of certain things before going New Game Plus. Let's see, what happens if I talk to the Hoslo guy now? You still alive? Well, assuming it's not the same one that I fought. I can't tell because I don't know his first name and I... Oh! Hello? Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? <laughs> oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. <laughs> Despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished. This is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. <laughs> You're just casually standing here as a, as a chubby snake. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. Is that where all the weird short snake people come from? Habit. I am proud of what I am. All right, people yeah. Are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. I mean, I don't mind. I talk to anyone who can be talked to in these games, so. When seeking new recruits, but you are not like the rest. I mean, you kind of look cooler like this, to be honest. My serpentine form were secrets. Known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe. My serpent a secret. Now I share them. Please keep them. Alright, can I play as a snake? I want to play as a snake too. The sky's still hanging around. The tarnished. It is Alright, I guess it's time to meet Rykard. So we can be together! Ah. I see that this is your Taker's cameo. You are Our Lord. Yes. Sure. Now, I, will I don't remember what Taker's cameo is. So turn me into a snake. Farewell <laughs> then. May your visit be fruitful.
Alright, uh... Why am I using Sacred? Actually, I wonder if Sacred might be good on this guy. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm using the weird weapon. I don't even need, like, anything. Just give me, like... Extra defense or something. Extra fire assist against the... I'm not sure the things that fly at me are fire damage. I'm gonna guess they are. That's, like, the only dangerous attack he does, I feel like. Uh, okay. Let me check that thing I got. The cameo. Was that a trinket? So not a trinket. There we go. Take rest restores. Oh, that's how you get that one. Restores HP upon defeat. That makes sense. I don't remember getting this on my first playthrough, even though I did this entire quest line, I think. I mean, that's how I got to fight Rykard the first time. Maybe I just didn't notice it. I'll have to check my other character now. Uh, we need to go get the... Wait, do I have the bonfire? It's not a bonfire. I wonder how many people still call these things bonfires. I just can't shake the habits. Snake man. That's Tango. Oh, you have a grab attack. That's cool. I kind of expected to stagger you. I don't know why I expected to stagger you. I know you staggered fast, but not that fast. Do you poison? Do you have poison? You maybe you have more than one dangerous attack. I was just very lucky when I fought you the first time. I did not do much damage at all. I can't dodge to save my life, apparently. Started the actual fight yet? <laughs> I dumped him. Oh, so much. That's what I get for like talking down on, on him. Like, I was like, he only has one dangerous attack. Yeah, maybe if you dodge the other ones, but at least now we can be together. What's the damage type on this? Just pure physical. First two fights against this guy. We're just unlucky this time, but I don't think that's the case because I have no wall left. Oh, there's the rap attack. pillar. That I would appreciate. If you drop me on the inside of the pillar now in the lava, I'm going to be upset. if I like okay well you spit poison so you probably do mine but I'm gonna just I have a snack you were gonna put lava all over the place it's a fair trade oh come on I can stagger him 
Or die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I can't fight this guy today. In my hubris. I would like to swap my two... No, three FP flasks, three healing flasks, though. Let's see... Flasks. And then we can swap this one around. I don't need this. We can get... More likely to break stance. Probably solid. Are you on top of my runes? Oh, at the very edge. like a full combo is quite valuable because the first hit does like 700 the second hit does like 1300 that was a really bad dodge third hit is like 1700 or something I don't want to skip the cutscene. <laughs> I like when he says it. It's funny. What is creepy, like Voldemort face from the first Harry Potter movie? I don't mind skipping him pulling the sword out, though. That's kind of gross. Depends on if he says it before or after he pulls the sword out. Beautiful. Oh, very well. Oh, he says that afterwards, dang it. Ah, oh, that's gross, gross weapon. Stronger. Oh, you're summoning 
the sky stuff now, aren't you? That's gonna be scary. And lava! Am I dead? Not dead yet. Oh, we're gonna be lava. The gods! The gods! <laughs> I can't, that's a good line. <laughs> Oh, we will all our hearts together. For being like a gimmick fight, this is like one of the better gimmick fights they've done. Probably because he has like, like a decent move set. It feels epic. It feels grand scale. You can see what's going on because you can attack on such a long distance. Because I feel like when you fight Yorm, you don't really get to see what's going on as much. I need to dodge that so much later. Come on, stagger. Or just kill me. That works too. Scene again, or does okay? We're gonna get a cutscene again. Skipping it this time, though. Okay, the second swing is like delayed, isn't it? Oh, we didn't even do a second swing. You're jumping, you're jumping towards me. That's just me. Delayed, but I still chickened out. I still chickened out. I was like, it feels like it's gonna hit me. Are you already summoning the fire skulls? That was early. I was like, I'm gonna wait and see if he does another attack. There's another attack. I should probably dodge now, and I'm dead. <laughs> Together! We shall devour the gods! I wonder how many takes they did for that. 
when they recorded the voice line. Do you think they got it on the first try? Always like a lot of different versions of like. poison attack. I feel like the poison goes like past me, but it still creates pools in front of me. I love it with the new tracking I have. I have a lot of a lot more swiggity swoo. I'm in loading screens. close to him, even though the actual projectile goes far. How much damage does this hit? Honestly, that's not that strong. But I think it staggers him. Uh, I went into the poison. Yeah, I don't understand the logic of where the poison pool send up. Welcome, Dara Grab. How's it going? Are you ready to devour the world together? It was a valiant try. Yeah, it went really bad once I overgreeted when he summoned the Red Skulls, and then I just ended up in a situation where I couldn't get away. The Red Skull attack, where he summons the stuff, that was the, like, the big one attack I mentioned that was supposed to be dangerous. And then he just whipped out like 50 other attacks that I didn't respect, and I died to those as well. <laughs> can devour. I think both first and second playthrough I first tried this guy. That's a good thing he 
he's uh, giving me a run for my money this time. Might force me to actually learn what he does. Is that the, the sad thing about when you beat something too fast? You don't really learn what they actually can do. I feel like it's easier if I don't lock onto them at all. Yeah, if you run, they can't catch you. Yeah, exactly. But I couldn't start the run because I started so late. So I got into the cycle of like never being quite fast enough to start running, which was the problem. That's why I shouldn't have like attacked him as much as I did when the Red Skulls were coming in, even though he was staggered. Because when he started running, I could have just ignored that entire phase and then fought him normally afterwards once it's done. And that would have been better for me. But no, I decided to greed and, and whack him a bit while he's stunned. Because why wouldn't I? Locking on feels better though. You wanna do your big move? I just realized I'm probably supposed to use my weapon art there to stagger him out of it. You know, that would be so sick, actually. Let me try. No, no, no. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Come on. Come on. I gotta try that. I gotta, don't tell me if that works. Don't tell me if that works. If you have your hands on the keyboard, stop it right now. I gotta try that. I gotta try that. I gotta try that. I gotta try That would be the coolest thing ever. HP bar. Yeah, I can feel really cheap. I 
Like, it's such a gamble to make boss fights with, boss fights with multi HP bars, because it can either be, like, really cool, really hype, or it can feel like a cheap gimmick that just makes you feel not good about fighting in the first phase. And I'm stuck in poison. Ah, uh, he wasn't done. Of course he wasn't. Why would he be done? He's a giant snake, dude. Okay, can we stop spitting poison? I really don't like this attack. There was so many skulls left, even when he was, like, doing the big attack. That's weird. Usually there's no skulls left. Oh, well. We keep trying. I want to I wanna see if this works. Like, I, I have to see if this works. It's no longer about beating the guy. It's about testing something. That's actually a really fast attack, surprisingly enough. Like, he got that off before my Ash of War went off. Ah, uh, poison. I love poison. Silly. Alright, can you back off a bit? You're a bit too close to me, I don't like it. Did I put the weapon? Nah. I 
I don't want to upgrade something I'm just going to use for this fight. trying to get away from the lava now, to be honest. Probably one of the most memorable lines in Elden Ring. In a couple of months, we can play the DLC. Oh, okay, you don't do this attack very often, but when you do, it puts me in the lava. I don't like being in the lava. Get me out of here. that lava attack. Poison lose half my health bar. Why is the poison still here? G go out, go away. Shoot, shoot. Where's the bosses that really don't need a poison attack? I died. <laughs> I got one combo. Yeah, the charge I'm doing is just a tap. I'm not even holding the charge for the, the weapon art. I'm literally just tapping it. It's just that slow. That doesn't even reach him. Good damage though. I can see that being really good if you just do like uh, plunging attack, boosting stuff. It's probably insane, to be honest. I have a friend who's doing uh, a jumping attack playthrough, so they might do that for this boss. I'm getting a bit 
too close to the lava for my own comfort. Because if you don't charge it, I think it's a slash. Is it? No, it's a stun no matter what. Okay, that's uncharged. This is charged. And I don't have time to do the follow-up, obviously. I gotta keep some SP though, because I or SP. FP. Why do I call them SP? Flasks. I might should just wait for him to do the the big attack. Don't even try to fight him in the beginning. As well, lower south bar bit, I suppose. Let's play it safe. Ah, uh, really? Problem is, if I do that, I run out of space. are being summoned. Now, of course, I walk on the little lava burst. Ugh. All right. What if I do like a 180 and I go through the skulls? It's gonna do it soon as me. Okay, he's already starting to charge. Like, how am I supposed to get to do anything against him before? Oh. Like, I need a way to, like, get rid of the skulls faster. I'm not trying to stop him from calling the skulls though, because I want him to do the big attack he does at the end of it. I don't think he'd like the one time I staggered him from doing the skulls, he didn't do the big attack afterwards. Or poison underneath me and lava. Oh, that's an attack I don't see very often. A oh, stagger. Or just eat me. You can do that too. Oh, that's got a stagger. There we go. Hey! Step. Another big step. It's not that much damage, to be honest. One day I'll dodge that. One day. <laughs> I love poison. Poison's my favorite.
did the exact same twice attack combo twice in a row now. I don't know why I'm locked on them. I just said I shouldn't be locked on them. It makes them easier. There it was about to do the red skulls and I staggered him out of it. And he kind of just does it again afterwards. Usually. You can probably keep staggering him if you keep up the pressure, but... He still goes for it. Maybe he wouldn't go for the big move if I'm really far away. Because then the big move wouldn't be able to hit anyways. See, so if I'm like way over here... He's not gonna go for it until I'm closer. Nah, he still goes for it. Does it hit that far? It doesn't even hit that far. That's such a shame. What do you want me to lock onto him? I feel like it's better to not be locked. I wonder if I stall for long enough, he's gonna do the red skulls again. I'm just gonna leave him be now. Being far away did nothing. The thing is, I feel like he's not gonna do red skulls again, because I feel like... He, I mean, maybe he will. Now we'll see. Let's see if he does it again. He's at least never lived long enough to do it twice before. If he can't do it twice. Or science. I mean, the sky is getting lower. Yoink. Is he gonna do it? Hey, you wanna do some more red skulls? Buddy? I don't think he wants to. Hey, welcome to Lord Jeff. Let us devour the gods! <laughs> Come on, summon more skulls. You know you want to. I don't think he actually wants to. No, we can devour the gods! How's it going? It's going good. I'm trying to see if I can stagger this guy out of one of his bigger attacks, because I think that would be fun and would give a lot of style points. So we're kind of just like redoing this fight over and over again just to try to get a stagger against one specific attack. If I had like a spell that could negate magic for a short amount of time. Happy 420 day. Is it 420 today? Hold on, where's my phone? I don't even know what day it is. That's... It is 420. Hey! Happy 420. Okay, now I'm supposed to fight. I forgot. I'm actually to fight him. <laughs> I shouldn't just be running around. <laughs> I'm still on the autopilot uh, runaway mode now. He didn't let me get all three stabs. I wanted three stabs. Yeah, I know there's spells for like anti magic stuff. This was your favorite boss fight to summon bro at launch. That makes sense. It's a fun fight. It's a fun gimmick fight. It just makes you feel good. And also, like, if you fight this fight with two people, you stagger him so much. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have enough stamina. Oh, here comes my favorite attack. I love poison. I love losing my entire health bar because green stuff is on the ground. Hey, more poison. Love poison. Poison's great. back in so that I couldn't like get away from the active attack frame so even if I was rolling in the beginning of the attack frame the end still hit me because that hitbox lasts for quite a while Bun snake. Oh, I kind of got on top of him for a second. <laughs> Together. That was a really bad dodge. Is he not going to repeat the skulls? I don't think he wants to repeat the skulls, actually. We'll see if he does it. Ah, now it's going to do it. Now it's going to do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm 
managed to fight this guy mid skulls once, and I kind of want to try doing that again. No, I still don't get interrupted. We can try to interrupt Skulls once just to make sure that he doesn't do the attack if I interrupt Skulls. Yeah, for, re for reference, uh, Demon Lord Jeff, we're not trying to beat this guy right now, we're trying to stagger a specific attack. Like, until I can test if that works or not, I'm just gonna, like, let him kill me. The thing is, I feel like even if I could poise through the skulls to a certain extent, I would just die to them instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting murdered. Seems like a game plan, to be honest. Oh, you had one more? He should be stunned soon. There we go. This is why I don't kite to the right. This is why I don't kite to the right. It's bad for that one attack there, because he curves that way. I don't know why I started kiting to the right this time. I always kite to the left. How much poise do I have? Not enough to poise through anything. I have less than 50. Poison flying in the air. to lava.
keeps spamming for it. He really wants to summon skulls. He just keeps doing it. He really wants the skulls. <laughs> he just really wants them. <laughs> He's like, if I don't get two skulls, I'm not going to do anything else. <laughs> Uh, have your skulls then. Have your skulls then, buddy. Skulls left around when he does the move. Oh, am I really gonna have to do some cheese with buffing poise? I feel like that shouldn't be necessary because I feel like the method should be accessible. But it could be that just intend you to outrun the attack. Like that would be literally the easiest thing. It just would be a very from soft move to make the attack something like you gotta stagger him out of it. Oh, he actually grabbed me. Is there something in the environment I could use to deal with the skulls? I feel like everything in the environment would shatter.
They got the thing. I think it's only because he went into a, an attack combo towards the end of the skulls, which was a very long attack combo. He wouldn't do the big finish before finishing his attack combo. And because that attack combo was so long, the red skulls uh, stopped spawning before he finished the attack combo. Wait, where am I leveling? Dex. Why would I want Dex? A rounded build? Nah. Alright, let's see what this sword is all about. Gross looking sword. Flesh blade. Flesh from this blade. I also gotta get one of those remembrance uh, uh, mausoleum thingies so I can get an extra one because I also want the, the weapon art. Not the weapon art. Is it a weapon? No, it's a spell, right? Let's see. Yeah, sorcery. I want this as well. I can't use it though, but... Twenty-two strength. Fire damage. I have to tell the people at the Volcano Matter. A spell needs int and it's pretty bad. Yeah, but it's not about whether something is good or bad. It's about whether it's fun. Do you recognize my sword lady? Kinda looks cooler when I use it. It's still kinda gross though. Ugh. Ugh. Could you imagine you have this sword like on your shoulder and then one of the tiny arms kinda like reach out and just like caress your cheek? It's like, thank you for using me. I am a beautiful blade, aren't I? I will destroy your enemies. Don't throw me away. I will always be with you. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy, creepy sword. It's true then. You've defeated our lord. No. It cleans your ears as you rest. I must thank you. Uh. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And we'll Imagine if you put this sword under like a sink. Stronger. Just all the water gets red, but the sword doesn't become any less red. It just does that forever. It will just continuously just make all the water completely red. I will leave. I suggest I will miss the champion. I always walk. This is perhaps. Now you've got <laughs> You may perhaps a tarnished will for now. The demigod beast, a fine mess. <laughs> well, goodbye, my friend. What is it? Oh, come to make up. Sure, I'll we'll make a donation. I'll take your dagger. Boom. Cheers for that. Sword in the lake instead of cleansing it just makes it red. You just throw it into like a lake and the entire lake goes red. <laughs> you accidentally drop the sword in the ocean. Now you've doomed the ocean forever. I harbor you no ill will. Even he was prepared. But any road, though we may yet, we hunted our own and with everything. Oh great, I am the rec we refused. Oh great, I am the rec we refused. What about Snake Lady? Is Snake Lady gone? Kinda of become 
is a bit empty here after... After you beat Rykard. Tonic of Forgetfulness. Can I tell her about her origin? The snake lady? I only got to talk to her once before I went to fight Rykard. I probably would have gotten to talk to her again if I teleported back instead of fighting Rykard until he died, but... Alright, two-hand this weapon. This is a greatsword standard... Oh, it's got pierce? On which attack? Roll swing? Maybe one-handed, but I don't have one-handed strength. It's just for the sake of testing it. Just equip this. Okay, where's the pierce? Okay, it's not on the roll swing. Heavy. Heavy two. Backstep? It says standard pierce. Backstep heavy. No, two-handed? No. Okay. Roll two-handed. Heavy one. Heavy two. Light one. Light two. Light three. Light Four. Jumping attack would not have a stab. This would not have a stab. Why does it say have stab? What move is a stab here? Crouch goes to Pierce. Not even Crouch goes to Pierce. One handed? Is there any attack I haven't done yet? We did backstep, rolling, jumping, light, heavy attack. Is there a rolling heavy attack in this game? I don't think so. Backstep heavy? Nope. Maybe the weapon art is uh, stabby. <laughs> it's fiery. Oh, that's the thing he does at the friggin' end, kinda. Not a cool weapon art, actually. Strength, dex, faith, scaling, strength 22, dex 15, faith 21. Fire damage. That might be like a fun alternative to the God Slayer weapon. I would have to go uh, get two more strength though. Which would slow down my leveling a bit. I would need a high, like 200k runes. Can we get 200k runes right here, right now? I have to use this, which I don't want to use. How much is this, though? Okay, that's enough for one level. Alternatively, I could just keep using uh, this talisman until I get the levels naturally. Let's see. Get one strength level, and we'll just get the next one by doing things, I suppose. Is there someone I want to talk to after I finish the mansion? Not sure. I do want to go through the mansion though. Like the... I've never gone through this mansion the proper way. I've never gone through the back here and to the site of grace. The way I've always done the mansion is I take the... Um, the Iron Virgin at the Academy and let myself be teleported by that. And then the place you end up when you get teleported, I jump a gap to get into the, uh, the back area of the mansion. That was how I first got into the back area of the mansion by accidents. Because it just looked jumpable. So I've never actually like gone through this area through this way before. This was the last thing I found in the mansion. Was the actual intended way to get in. But I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, so I'm going to be right back.
I'm back. Upgraded this. Doesn't do any damage. <laughs> Doesn't do any damage. I haven't upgraded it. Okay, how resistant are you guys to fire? Decently. How about holy damage? Stabby, stabby. Man, serpent shield, hand hook, car door. Up my ring back to you. Let's get some more holy damage. We. I slammed my penis in the car door. He slammed his penis in the car door. You can say that on the stream, right? <laughs> if you can say it on YouTube, you can say it on the stream. It's literally a YouTube video. <laughs> Why would it not be allowed? It's the scientific name, so it's okay. Everything is fine if you use the scientific name. Number five. Demonetized! I'm not even monetized to begin with, so you know. <laughs> Can't get demonetized if you're not monetized in the first place. Half side of head. Big brain. Are you giving me your monies? Uh, definitely don't check the description. That would be awful if you did that. Stone sword key was lost with use. Ugh. Ah, spin to win. The only complaint I have about jewel wielding in this game is there really ought to be jewel wield specific weapon arcs. That would be the coolest thing. Just like this character spins around with two saw blades. I need jewel wield specific weapon arcs. Just do that for like a bunch of things. I think my favorite like power stance weapon was the freaking like red and blue smelter sword in Souls 2. I've never actually played with those myself. I've only like tried it after I was done with a playthrough. I've never done that as my like, main thing. I should honestly do a Dark Souls 2 playthrough where I use those. The thing is, it takes so long to get the blue smelter sword.
And I don't even, don't even want to think about fighting the blue smelter team. <laughs> that is not a good time. It's not even the fight, it's the run back. It's the run back to the blue smelter team. Tree seal. Is that for fun? No, don't I already have a seal for fundamentalist incantations? How is this different from Golden Order? Aldogon, tippity tip, donated $10. Thank you so much, Aldogon. Is that, is that you, Rand Paul Ryan? Considering you just said how to give monies. The uppers? Oh, thank you so much. Let's see... I've never gone through here. Like, I've never gone like this way through this area. Had to log in with your Twitter account to guest pay. Yeah, it has uh, required login as a safety precaution. Because there's like a... Uh, there's a scam going around. And I don't want to talk too much in detail about the scam because... That might popularize the scam. But there is a scam going around. It's uh... It's not harmful to the... Donators, it's harmful to the streamer. So it's not something you guys need to worry about. So as like a safety precaution, it's there. It doesn't really prevent it in its entirety. It just makes it less likely to happen. And I will take whatever precautions I can. You think you know it and get hit a lot in Mini Mini Man's channel a lot? That wouldn't surprise me. I'm not familiar with the channel, but any channel who's, who's probably somewhat known probably is a great risk of experiencing that. And it's uh, it's kind of spooky. And it's one of those reasons why. Um, Oh, we can't have nice things, I suppose. That's probably not the right word for the scenario, but... But yeah, there are a lot of services that uh, allow us for safety against that... ...that specific risk. Sadly, one of the most popular services is uh, not available in my country. So, uh, I had to make do with the way I set it up. And hopefully it's gonna work. Fingers crossed. If not, I will just randomly disappear one day and, uh, probably be in extreme depth or something. I don't know. I'll be confiscated by the government. <laughs> uh, probably worst case, uh, I'll just close donations. Is what would happen. Don't scream. Snake. I mean, actually, it's a small snake. They're all like so 
they they remind me of like a very specific snake. That's like um I don't know what it's called. There's like a snake that's like really short and it's kind of chubby. It's like a wide snake instead of a long snake. That's what they remind me of. They're kind of funny. So is the reason why the snakes are like weird? Is it because they're like a mix of um of like what, what's her name, Lady Tanith, uh, and uh, the snake thing that uh, Rykard is fused with? So they're they're literally actually half snake, demon, half god, half human. Rykard's kids, yeah, it makes sense. Down we go. Lava slugs. They remind you of newts. I don't even know if I actually know what a newt looks like. I feel like I should know, but I feel like my, my main exposure to the word newts have been in video games. Because people like making newts like an alchemical ingredient in video games. <laughs> I should just Google what a newt looks, looks like. I've been considering if I should put up, like, the blind playthrough warning again. I felt like it seemed a bit excessive considering this is the third playthrough. Even though I am still kinda not really looking up things. Oh, am I gonna die now? Because I do like to keep things spoiler free and I do kind of enjoy figuring things out myself. Like, I don't mind missing things in this game because I'm gonna play it so many times over and over again that missing something isn't really that big of a deal. Like, I feel like the only reason to rush through finding everything in a video game is if you intend to just do everything and then shelf the game and never play it again. And that is not even close to my intent for this game. I'm going to be playing this game for years and years to come. Not necessarily streaming for years to years to come, but like, even if I stop streaming this game, I'm going to be like picking it up now and again. Because that's just what I've done with every Dark Souls game, and I'm going to keep doing it with this game. Yeah, it's my fault for not putting up the, the blind playthrough warning. Like, if it was up, I would be way, way more, um, harsh towards spoilers in chat, but I realize it's my mistake for not putting it up. Have I done a bow-only build yet? I want to, but I haven't done one yet, no. That's probably going to be one of the later things I do, do, if I were to guess. Like, right now, I'm kind of just going through the stat list. So first build was Strength Dex for Quality, and then second one was Intelligence for Sorceries. Now it's Faith for uh, Incantations. So I get to kind of, like, try the things that are locked behind certain stats. Since I'm not looking up how incantations work and such, I kind of, like, have to try them to see what they do, right? So that's why I'm doing, like, a playthrough for each main stat to try different things out. And then I'll do more weird builds after that, probably. Arcane will be fun. I am really looking forward to Arcane, considering my favorite build in Dark Souls 3 was a uh, blade build. And as for my current armor, I will show it off in a second. So it's a very simple combination of just Confessor armor, gloves, and boots, but with the black hood instead of the Confessor hood, because I don't really like the Confessor hood that much. It's kind of eh. But with the black hood, I think it looks really nice. And with the skeletal mask, it looks really nice, in my opinion.
My only complaint about this uh, set is the insignia on the cape. I have no idea what that insignia represents. So I would like to have like a, a plain cape, which is like no symbol on it. I think the black knife might fit well with it. Oh, it probably would. Yeah, it does kind of work. This set just works well with daggers in general. Like, I think even like this looks good. It's like, sure, it's different colored, but it's a nice contrast to the set, and it does make me feel kind of like a friggin' Assassin's Creed character. <laughs> I just jump down on someone and go like... Is there a... Was there a Sight of Grace nearby? And this guy's probably horribly, horribly resistant to both fire and holy damage. I can probably just open the shortcut. I'm thinking of, like, going to the round table and upgrading my, uh, Blasphemous Sword so we can try that. If you modify the Confessor armor to not have the cape, then you can even go, um, Banished Knight Helmet on it. With the cape, it looks bad because, you know, red cloth on black cape. It's not a great mix, but if you get rid of the cape, it's still decent. Not the best, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm still trying to find my, like, favorite drip in this game. Like, I know what my favorite drip is in Dark Souls 3. It's uh, overused as heck, but, uh, well, actually, not my version of the drip isn't overused as heck, but it looks very similar to the most overused set in the game because it uses the Fall Knight helmets. And I know the Fall Knight set is the most used in the in Dark Souls 3. The thing is, I like the Fall Knight set, but I changed it up a bit to make it look a little bit lighter. So it's um, Fall Knight helmets with the Black Hand Gotthard uh, chest piece and Assassin gl uh, gloves and legs. Essentially just gives you a very similar look to the Fallen Knight, but it's lighter, so it feels more uh, agile and mobile. Combined with having very, very low equipment load, which allows you to have low endurance and uh, even still use a heavy weapon. That's another nice thing about this set as well that I'm using right now. It's also quite light compared to the Banished Knight helmet, which I do like a lot. This is probably my favorite helmet in the game so far, but it's a bit heavy. All right, Mr. Blacksmith, I would like to upgrade my sword. You see those ha boy warriors from Hammerfell? They got curved swords. Curved swords. All right, Blasphemous Blade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will probably take it further, but right now I'm just taking everything to 7, because that's why I have uh, an excess of materials for. Did I have this? No, you find the Sword of Milos in uh, the Mogwin uh, Mausoleum, don't you? Since I've heard a lot of talk about, like, power stancing uh, Blasphemous Blade with Sword of Milos. Yeah, I don't think I have that yet. Let's see... Which... Is it Prison Town Church? Is that what the town is called? We can get Milas right now. I'm a bit reluctant to using that combo, simply because that's a combo I've only heard of through other people and I I kind of don't want to do something simply because a lot of other people are doing it like if I stumbled across it myself it would be a different matter that's probably one of the best reasons why I should put like uh, a message up warning against spoilers because if someone spoils something they really want me to do or use, I'll probably be less inclined to do it, which is going to disappoint people. <laughs> All right, Mr. Godskin. This sword supposedly heals me, so it damaged me a bit. I want to see how much it heals me. 
All right, you hit me with da damage over time while I healed myself, but uh, it is what it is. Stop games tend to be really stingy with healing. What if you use that with like uh friggin' uh Melania's great rune and you just tank a hit while hitting them with that? You're gonna heal the full again. He slapped me. He just straight up slapped me. You know what? I want to slap him now. I don't have a way to slap him because I have... Wait, no, I do. Can I slap you? <gasps> revenge. I will have my revenge. Slap him. Now we're even. Sure, his slap hits harder, but it's a matter of principle. I am dead. Oh, boy. I missed. Also, the music. Really good. I don't like these attacks that are just like forcing you to back off. Okay, fire go away, please. Cheese wheel? Cheese wheel? Cheese wheel! Oh, he hit me. And he didn't even stop cheese wheeling! <laughs> Best boss music in your opinion? I've heard a lot of people like this song. It is really good, actually. <laughs> it's very like um I don't know dramatic. It's a shame most of these like godskin fights are in like little, little rooms and temples because th imagine that song on like a really tall up like tower or something while it's like storming. That would be sick. Right? Imagine you're like at the top of like a tower. It's like really far down. There's not a lot of space. It's raining like crazy storming. Lightning strikes. And you have this music. Okay. Pick, pick up my runes, please. Heal me. I have been healed. I have been damaged. I have been healed. And damaged again. And then healed once more. And then damaged. <laughs> Am I playing Bloodborne now? Is this what Bloodborne is like? He belly flopped me. Are you gonna cheese wheel? I cannot dodge that today. I swear it's so easy to dodge too. Really, dude? Is this really what we're doing today? Wow, I can't dodge the cheese wheel. Oh, what is wrong with me? I really can't play today. I die for the first time to Rykard. Now I'm getting cheese wheeled on. This is not, this is not an Elden Ring day. But because it's not an Elden Ring day, doesn't that kind of make it the most Elden Ring day of all days? Because it is a game about dying a lot. The thing is, if you if you like roll the cheese wheel, uh, you can just like walk around them for the next like 20 seconds while he rolls and it's really funny, which is why I like to roll it instead of like getting him stuck on a pillar. Slap me? Don't you even think about slapping me. Um. I'm being... 
lucky with the RNG this time. He's doing very easy to dodge attacks. I do too. Whenever I see a tail, I'm like, I must have it. Give me your secret weapons. It's because he gets stuck on the wall that he doesn't roll the waist. I am stuck in here now. This is my life. I live in this corner. When he knocks me into the air like that, he should do like an air combo. Like when he knocks me into the air, I need him to, to go like madness mode on me from Dark Souls 1, where he just like goes completely crazy on me and just knocks you around. What does this uh incantation do? Let's see, noble presence. Thrust out belly with gusto to produce a shockwave that knocks back nearby foes. Charging enhances potency, easy knocking enemies into the air. I mean I'm gonna try it. Also, how close am I to getting that 22 strength now? Oh, I can do it. We can then equip the um, strength uh, talisman. 22 strength. Go back to faith. And since I'm using this weapon, I should be using fire scorpion, to be honest. I didn't expect this weapon to do fire damage. I mean, I get it. Riker does a lot of fire stuff, but the weapon itself doesn't seem really fiery, to be honest. It just seems kind of fleshy. It's kind of gross. I should stop looking at it. <laughs> Yoink. There's the weird serpent thing. Yeah. No idea what it's for. That's probably the important item, though. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, key items that I never used for anything. And don't tell me what they're for. Just, like, a fair warning. I've never used this for anything. If this picture would show up, I've never used this for anything. I've never used this for anything. Uh, the rest I've used for some. And like, it's probably a combination of all of these items. Maybe I've never had all of them at the same time, but... It is what it is. Not knowing is like a part of the fun. Because once... Once... Once you know, you can't unknow. And for that reason, I want to stay in the not knowing for as long as possible. So I can enjoy the, the thrill of the mystery. I never remember if there's a reason to go around here. I swear there's like one item, but it's not a good item. Let's see, what is it? Yeah, Golden Rune Knife. But whenever I'm up here, I just immediately think of um, the boss room in Dark Souls 3 where you fight, uh, what's his name? The guy with two swords in the Moon City. The heck is he called? Like, I know it, but I I can't brain my brain right now. Uh, what is he called? Yeah, it's like one fire sword, one, like, magic sword. And he clones himself towards the second half of the battle. Uh, Pontiff. Pontiff Sullivan. That guy. Yeah, that room reminds me of the Pontiff Sullivan room. Even though that room is smaller. But it's because of, like, the elevator up and the part you walk around. It's like, I always feel like I'm going to find, like, a mimic chest or something. And I never do. 
There's also a sword called uh, Night and Flame. I do believe I have that sword. Yeah. I'll probably use this if I ever do like an intelligence faith mix uh, build. Oh, it didn't hit. I'm surprised it didn't hit. I charged this up. It's just simply not hitting. It's going through her. Is it because of the uneven ground? Hmm. That's really weird. Maybe she's immune to it because she's a statue. <laughs> and attack exactly when it starts the grab animation and I'm like, ah, oh, well, now it's too late for me. Well, now you're in the lava. You're gonna try to grab me, aren't you? So I'm coming this time. Missed me. Is it the... no? Is it... Maybe it's not. Time to use the most useful ring in the game. Very useful ring. It does so much. That won't save me? No, but I didn't need saving in the first place. <laughs> like in the situations where it would do something, it does nothing, and the situations where it wouldn't do something is when it does something. <laughs> does that make sense? If you use it because you would die, then you would still die. And if you use it when you wouldn't die, then you wouldn't die anyway, so you don't need it. <laughs> it has a very slight use, though. But it's, it's very vague, because... You, it would have to be a distance that you fall enough to take damage, but you have to be in combat, so you take damage and not stamina damage. Because it prevents damage, as long as it's not lethal. So you can save a little bit of health from using it, but... Most falls in this game are set up in a way where if you're supposed to fall somewhere, you're not going to take any damage anyways. So most of the time it's not going to do anything, unless you use it in a very weird spot. You could just use the cotton and save the slot. Well, I would just equip it and unequip it. I would never keep it equipped, speaking of which, I'm keeping it equipped right now, but that's a different matter entirely. I, for the same reason, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep cotton on my active items bar. So if I'm going into the inventory to equ equip cotton to use it, or just using cotton, I might as well go into the talisman slot to equip the cat ring and then just take it off afterwards. Unless I expect to end up in combat as soon as I jump off the cliff, in which case you can argue, oh, if you enter combat right away, and you're not able to swap back, you will have a harder time fighting whatever you're fighting. Do you sneeze? I think he sno he snozed. He snothed. Is 
Stone Sword Key. Yep. I thought for the longest time that the way you got this door open to the church was by finding a way to get on top of the castle here. Because I did like a really cheeky thing where I like started looking around. Let's see if I can get up there. The side of the castle. Which is not something you're supposed to do, but oi, oi, I'm climbing here. A douchebag. Okay, let's see if I can get this really awkward jump. It kind of looks like above the church. I don't even know how to show it, but above the church in the bottom left there, which is where the Site of Grace is inside, right? Connected to that is a tower, and it kind of looks like on the wooden platforms, you can kind of like climb down the side to get down. And you can kind of get around here, and you can see that there's another tower over there where the window meets the roof leading down, which could have been like a part of the level where you like go somewhere to get to that tower back there. So you would like get into, let's see, this is one of the towers. This, is that the right one? It's the other tower like back here or something. Like imagine if you went like up into the second tower, came out the window, went down the roof, went across to this tower and then jumped down the rafters to get on top of the, that church area. And that's how you got inside. That's what I was trying to do when I didn't know how to get into the church, because I didn't know the church was actually the first area of this entire area. I thought that was like a secret or something. Now I thought that maybe if I could climb out of this window over here, because there's a window that's just like randomly open here. There's a window here that's open, and it kind of looks like you'd be able to climb these cages and jump out the window. Convoluted? Yes, but the best secrets are convoluted. Like, there's a lot of funny, wacky jumps you can do in, um, Stormvale Castle. Like, for example, the one that gets you at the very bottom where you fight a Crucible Knight. That's pretty convoluted, too. Like, you jump over a wall, go along the edge of the wall, fall onto a piece of debris that collapses as you step on it, which makes you fall all the way to the bottom of the castle where you fight a Crucible Knight. That's also pretty convoluted, in my opinion. <laughs> And considering the way I got into this area, which was the incorrect way to enter it, was also convoluted. I was kind of open to convoluted solutions at that point. I would like this item. I don't think it's a good item, but I want it nonetheless. Is there anything by the basilisks down here? Let's see. Ow, I'm not here to fight you, I'm here to fight the basilisks. Oh, I thought you would stagger. Alright, chill snakey. Oh, now there's two of you. This is getting out of hand. Oh, that's a grab attack, and I'm poisoned. Can you just stagger already? I'm doing that classic from soft mistake where I just keep hitting the enemy expecting it to benefit me rather than just backing off for a second. You know, if I just keep spamming R1, maybe it's gonna work. Proceeds to die 50 times. Yoink, that was worth it. I don't even want to fight you guys. You guys have way too much health. I've also ran around this entire area in the lava to see if there was anything. Hey, beetle friend. 
Let's number five. What was that noise? That was kind of creepy. Hello, friends. Oh, I did not mean to backstab you. I wanted to swing all of them. Uh, I did not roll, apparently. Man, Serpent, Ashes. Hand, Hook, Car, Hand, Door. Wait, okay, I wanted to see, uh, what is it called? Faker's Cameo. Is that any better than frigging, um, What is it called? The, the Eye Rings? The Ring of Evil Eye? Because the Ring of Evil Eye has always been, always been very bad. Actually, pretty decent. Did they finally just accept allowing healing items to heal you in these games? Because it used to be like, oh, Pontiff left eye ring or right eye. I don't know which, if it's left or right eye. It's like heals 20 HP. Let me see how it heals me with just this. Let me like whack someone with just this. I want to see how much it heals for. All right, assuming I don't get hit, so I'm at 969. I might get hit though, that's gonna ruin the entire calculation. Be a, be a pal and don't hit me. Don't hit me, Ooh. Uh, 969 to 1044, okay. That's better than it usually is. I don't have time to do the math. It's like, it's like 45 or something. Or 35, I'm not entirely certain. I'm being attacked. Was it 969 to 10? What was it to you? 10? Now I don't remember. <laughs> I have to try again. How am I supposed to do the math if I can't remember what the number was? I should just find a weak enemy. We'll come back here. I'm just gonna check if there's anything on the balcony. Did I get the staff, by the way? I didn't even see it pop up. Staff. Staff. Let's see. Prince of Death, Guilty, Meteorite, Crystal, Loss, Carrion. Am I not supposed to get like a magma staff? Is that a percentage drop? I thought it was a guaranteed drop from the last dude. Alright. Time for a uh, best ring in the game. Trust me, it's contributing. It's doing something. We don't really know what it's doing, but it's doing something. We don't really know if it's anything, but it's something. Oh! Parkour, parkour. I don't even think I need to drop off to that cage, but uh, it raises the stakes. Alright, uh, snake person, hit me. Like, there we go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can hit me a few times, that's fine. Okay, not that much. Uh, 746. Ah, you hit me again. That's... You're not supposed to hit me multiple times. I need, now I need to do a recount. 
824. 824 to 899. 70. No, wait. 75? Was it 75? Was it 899? Is it 75 healing? Okay, uh, 447. Wait, that's a horrible number. So if it was gonna be, uh. You hit me again. Give me like a, a convenient number. 221. 221 if it's 75 would go to 296. Two ninety six. Alright, cool. I have no healing. I didn't think this through. It's fine. Who needs healing when you uh have starlight shards? Which give uh non-existent amounts of FP. Really, really non-existent um, versions of just non-existent FP. And then we turn our non-existent FP into a warm rock. Beautiful. And then we just chill for a moment in the beautiful glow of our fancy rock. And have a, have a sip of soda. I look very red right now, but it's kind of nice. Gives more FP than you think, it's just slow. Yeah, it's so slow that it doesn't really help. <laughs> uh, oh, but what if, what if I take fall damage? Oh no, what if I take fall? Oh, if only there was a, a talent. <laughs> Renark. This is a lot of work for a friggin' Runark. Don't you think? Oh, oh, this is too scary. Oh, no, I need my I need my not fall damage talisman. Oh, I fell all the way down. If only the talisman saves me, but it doesn't because it doesn't prevent lethal falls. Such a useful talisman, right? <laughs> if only this talisman did something. It's like, uh, oh, they should have made this talisman one of the starting items. You can start with this talisman, and it's basically the equivalent of choosing, uh, what was that thing you could choose in Dark Souls 1? That, like, useless trinket that didn't do anything. I missed that. I missed that friggin' starting item. That was the best one. I want that one back. I would, oh, the pendant. Yes, the pendant. I was, I would always take the pendant. Almost always. Actually, I do like taking the key. The key is really nice, too. But the pendant, it just holds a dear place in my heart. Should you take the ring? I was tempted to. Oh, old Witch's Ring in Dark Souls 1? Yeah, Old Witch's Ring in Dark Souls 1 is actually really nice. Just so you get to talk to, uh... Quailana. Is that her name? Is it Quailana? Whatever the white spider is. Before you murder her for your soul, don't you dare. I mean, I tend to kill Priscilla every run, even though Priscilla's my favorite character, but at least she's a boss fight. Uh, 
Oh, it left my runes up there? Really, game? Well, I guess I don't get my runes back. Do I survive this? Just barely. Priscilla's Scythe is probably one of my favorite weapons in FromSoft games in general. Just a shame that it's not very good. <laughs> but it's cool. That's why I'm glad the free to Scythe as a thing in Dark Souls 3. Ash of War and Royal Knight Resolve. Now we're back here. Oh, nice. Doors blocked shut. Right, I should probably get my runes back. Let's see. Church, church, church of Eagle Eye, whatever that is. Eagle Eye. Did I get the other item? Uh, probably not. I don't think I've picked up anything important the last... Well, I don't think I've picked up anything important in a long time. <laughs> dedicated. Oh, if we don't find it, there is always next playthrough. And next one after that. And next one after that. And and the next one. <laughs> I gotta crank this game up to like at least a thousand hours, right? You gotta hit a minimum four digits. Okay, can I have your staff this time? Give me your staff. Probably guy just wants a hug. Yeah, and I keep telling him if he wants a hug, he should ask. Should not spot me, proceed to crawl frantically towards me while going... <laughs> Freaking disturbing. He's hug deprived. And he will keep being hug deprived with that attitude. Like, I don't make that noise when I get hugs from Fia in this game. I don't go. <laughs> and I'm pretty hug deprived as well. Especially in my first playthrough when Fia got killed and I was hug deprived as heck. Wow, you hug hater. Okay, she is like my one of my top three NPCs simply because she gives free hugs. Hardcore parkour. Alright, get rid of these markers. Uh, isn't there something else I didn't do? Yeah, there is something else I didn't do. Uh, go from here. At least I think I didn't explore. Like, isn't there like a magma lister down here, or am I misremembering things? At least I didn't explore the area down by the lava very much. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't been up there either. How do I get there again? Is it just the other door from the bottom? Probably. Probably. Pia's in top three. Who's the other two? Uh, reckon Melina and Ronnie. It's my top two. Like, I feel like Melina has to be on my top list because I literally killed the entire world and universe in a vain attempt to keep her alive. Which didn't really work, but it, I tried. Watch out, Millicent. Yeah, me and Millicent are in a rough spot. Because I've only gotten her quest to the point where she's standing in, uh... The Halig tree, and she keeps saying the same line over and over again, and I'm like, well, did you progress your quest and not just stand there? And I probably need to do something specific and do not tell me what I need to do because I do not want to know. I need like a post game where uh, there's a boss fight where I fight Melina, but I I intentionally lose. That should that should be a boss fight if you do the frenzy flame ending. There should be like after she says she will hunt you down, the credits play, and at the end of the credits it fades in where like she's found you somewhere. And then you get the option of either letting her kill you or saying no. And if you say no, you have to fight her. That would have been sick. That would have been so cool. And you give it like some really sad music. Like give it like music equally sad as like uh, friggin... Uh, Sif from Dark Souls 1. Or even even Gwyn music. Blim blim blom. <laughs> blim blim blom. Blom. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of asterisks. Why am I going this way? This is such a stupid way to go. Hold on, get me out of combat so I can teleport. Just go... Uh... Radius loading. Okay, just go here again. Oh, once I get all the stories done, maybe I should do like a story questline tier list or NPC tier list. I want to do a boss fight tier list at some point. I just want to make sure that I've found every single boss first. <laughs> What's the point of having sad blim blim blom music if your mimic is going to kill the jukebox after three seconds anyways? I will never escape this. I will never live this down. It was one time. It was an accident, Fox. I'm sorry. I already apologized. Uh, it's good to see you, though. Even if you can't stay. Hey, Fox, elaborate. Uh, basically, I was going to fight the... Uh, what's it called? The beast creature. You know, the one that's like... You know, the one that's in the the, the gra hallowed grounds and this one, what are they called? Hallowhorn grounds enemy. Oh, my brain is not working. Uh, something like Regal Ancestor or something like that, right? That's uh, Fox's favorite song in this game, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, so I said that I would fight that boss and then I, I would listen to the music. So I started fighting the boss and I got it down to very low HP. Ancestral spirit. Yes, okay, ancestral spirit. I got it down to low HP and then I was gonna like let it live so I could listen to the music. And I realized I had the mimic tear out. And I started unsummoning the mimic tear. Like the mimic ashes. But before it disappeared, it did one spell and killed the boss. So the boss fight ended in like 10 seconds. Because I nuked the boss down to like low HP and my mimic ashes finished it off. Luckily, I hadn't fought the other ancestral spirits. So we went to fight that one, and then we listened to the music. I feel like I need up for it, but Fox is still giving me just mad lip about it. It wasn't even me, it was the Mimic. I'm sure is the Mimic a imitation of me? Yes. Does that mean that I'm at fault for what happened? Also yes, but you could at least like, you know, I've apologized. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to what this lizard is doing at all. Oh, okay, you're doing sword things. Can you stop standing in the lava? Do not start running around again. I will be so annoyed. I would like to change my trinkets. That one shots me. Yeah, this guy does not really want to be in a place where I can fight him conveniently. Blim, blim, plum. Oh, you have a different attack, okay. Well, I have a different attack as well. How do you like this one? Oh, he really liked that, actually. <laughs> Dislike mag magma worm fights, especially this one. I feel like I thought they were really cool when I first encountered them, but I'm getting a bit worn out by their uh, crawling around attack, where they just don't stand still. And I don't like how if they start crawling around, they always do it twice. They never do it once, they always do it twice. If I find the right weapon to suit my preferences, I feel like arcane builds are going to be my favorite. Like, arcane decks is probably hands down going to be, like, my preferred playstyle. Well, it's very different than this game from Dark Souls 3. Because in uh, Dark Souls 3, my favorite was uh, luck build with, uh, what's it called? The Warden Twin Blades. Oh, he's not crawling around. Okay, I thought you were crawling around. That attack is so easy to avoid too, honestly. I just didn't do it right. Like, I like that attack where he does lava over the shoulder because you literally just swap sides. Like, fighting this guy gives me, like, slight flashbacks to fighting uh, Quaylag in Dark Souls 1. Which I think makes him me like the boss more than I should. Even though the lava stuff on Quaylag was the most annoying part of Quaylag. <laughs> Like, that was the unfun part of fighting Quay, like, what's the lava stuff? But because I'm nostalgic. Part of my brain is like, yeah, but you miss this. Like, somewhere deep down in your heart, you miss fighting Quay, like, and sure I do, but that doesn't mean the lava part was fun. <laughs> yeah, the knock. The knockback on the Blasphemous Ash of War was crazy. 
I mean, sometimes that can be annoying as well. Because sometimes you want to, like, use the stagger of an attack to open up for a follow-up combo. And if you knock the enemy too far back, you just, like, spend the entire time running up to the enemy again. So there are times where, like, insane knockback is good and times where it's kind of eh. Oh, still hit me, okay. I mean, that was bad dodge timing for me, but still. Okay, you don't have to move so much, you oversized lizard. Oh, now he's doing this stuff. I'm just gonna wait here. Have fun. Really? How is the lava getting over here? You're not doing it again, are you? Oh my god, you are. Alright. Take out your your coffee cups or tea cups or whatever you're drinking. Just take a break. Take five. You'll be back eventually. You go in phase two, or was that just a random attack you did? I don't think you're in phase two range yet. I can't move. Okay, now he's going phase two. Barrel roll! like to be able to move. Barrel roll time? Oh no, he didn't barrel roll. Boy, come back. I'm not done with you. Watch him one-shot me. <laughs> Watch him one-shot me right now. Uh, I've not been using incantations much recently. Yeah, I'm really bad at balancing use between uh, casts and melee. Like, I f I I'm very much like a melee player, I feel like. If I can melee, I'm gonna melee. <laughs> I feel like the only time I ever use a sorcerer incantation is if I can cheese something. I really should be using incantations more. I think that was the last major thing I wanted to do here before moving on. Yeah, I could be using buffs. I'm not sure if I have any buffs right now I really like using. Like, there's, uh... That entire, like, bundle of resistance buffs, but... I have this, like, issue where it's, like, the more tanky I become, the sloppier I play because I know I can take more punishment. <laughs> Let's have a look at our incantation list to see if there's anything that feels... I mean, I really liked the Stone of Garank when I got it. So I should be using that more. Let's have a look at these. Uh... I want to try Noble Presence because we got that recently. So let's equip Noble Presence for the sake of trying it out. Uh, health region, flame cleanse. This is intelligence stuff. We got knockback. Increase affinity damage negation. Affinity damage negation. Is that like dots and stuff? Like status effects or is it something else? Affinity damage. Hold on, I'm going to pour myself a glass of soda while I read it. 
base damage negation for all affin affinities except physical. Or is it all magic damage, though? It's kind of like a uh, great magic barrier. Barrier of gold. And great. Okay, yeah, so this is magic barrier. This is great magic barrier. Assassin's Approach, Darkness, Shadow Baits. I keep forgetting to go back to Gowry Shack and buy that one uh, insect spell. Rejection. Lighting Fortification, Flame Fortification, Magic Fortification. Isn't there like one I don't have that's like... Um... There's like an incantation. I think it's an incantation. That, unless it's a weapon art, it like increases the amount of lightning damage you do, but you also take more lightning damage. Isn't that like Vikes something? Do I have to fight Vike in the Ever Jail? Where's Vikes Ever Jail again? Probably in the mountaintop somewhere. Might be like over here or something. Go back to the mountaintops. Maybe we'll find the uh, Vike's Ever Jail. That probably gives that incantation. Because that would be like something Vike used before he went like all Frenzy Flame. Assuming that's the same Vike and there's not two different Vikes. In which case I wouldn't realize because I'm bad with names. I'm gonna assume it's the same guy. Why wouldn't it be the same guy? I think they both use a spirit tree, but I don't remember. Three hundred Vikes, pretty much. A clan of Vikes. A group of elite warriors. Where do I end up if I go down this way? Because I don't remember. Oh, there's a tree. Is that it? Is that all? That's all. That explains why I don't remember. We have enough or we're missing one? Oh, we have enough. Okay, we can get our final flask. I must have missed several golden seeds because I swear I usually... Not usually. I can't say usually. It was once. On my first playthrough, I had 14 flasks before I even came to the mountaintops. Didn't like do what? I think you've been watching too much weird stuff. Even if that's like something that happened, the fact that you know about it means you've been watching too much weird stuff. <laughs> Although it does raise the age-old question, would you ride a dragon or would you let a dragon ride you? Is there a stake of uh, Marika here if I fight the dragon? I'm just gonna hope there is. Also, I suddenly got like a sudden bout of dyslexia because I lost look at my uh, Asha War that says Taker's Flames and I read Tarko's Flames and I'm like, wait, is this weapon made for me? Aurora Borealis? In this part of the mountain, in this climate, at this time of year, localized entirely within this lake? Can I see it? A dragon transforms into a human? Damn, I gotta see that now. New contender for best girl? Oh, they're upset. You better give me that health back. Thank you. A 
Can you stop? I hate this attack so much. Really? You're doing it more? Oh. You'll love ne nearly every dragon fight in this game. All right, since you said nearly, how do you feel about the Scarlet Rock Dragon near the Dragon Communion Church in Kaled? Now choose your answer carefully. <laughs> yeah, e eggs keys or something like that. I just makes me think of um, Ezekiel, to be honest. The rock dragon is the only one you you don't like. All right. You get to live. <laughs> like that rock dragon fight, in my opinion, and I'm not just being salty, it has a couple of issues. One of the issues, which is probably the most glaring one, is it keeps getting stuck on um, the nearby cliffs, and then it doesn't manage to get back down, and then it teleports back to the center again. That's like the most glaring issue. And then the second one, which is just something I'm not a big fan of, I don't like the rot attack it does, where it like covers the almost the entire world, the entire lands in between in Scarlet Rot, and you just have to run away. And if you're anywhere near like a red pixel, you die instantly. Okay, where's my runes? Dragon, have you seen my runes? Are they just gone? Are they over this way? Okay, thank you. Can you move your leg? It's a bit in the way. Alright, I got my runes, we can fight now. Oh no, it's early. It's fine. Oh yeah, you do this. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's also something I don't like about the rock dragon. It leaves like rock spores when it stomps, which makes it have very like annoying timings for punishing it for attacks. Am I dead? Okay, that hit me. Rot one is easy. The thing is, it's not about easy or hard. It's just not fun. <laughs> it's just not fun. scream again now? How do I know when you scream? Because I don't like it when you scream. Like, am I supposed to be backing off? Because now you're doing it. Are you screaming more? No, you are. Oh, that's a huge AOE. Alright, note to self. When it screams too much, just go away. Just don't, don't accept that kind of behavior. When someone screams at you, just do this, turn around 360 degrees and walk away. It can be painful if you have low health at Kaled. It's still not even about that, right? It's not about whether it's easy or hard. Like, you could have infinite health. The fight wouldn't be any more fun. It's just a not fun fight. The dragon gets stuck on terrain. It teleports back to the center. It makes you have to wait out for large periods of time because it leaves rot everywhere. If you do a 360, you're still looking at the dragon. What? Real? No way. What?
Have to run. Thanks for the stream. Seeing you stun luck Riker at the end was amazing. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Rand Paul. Oh, I should grab this. This would be less of a run. Oh yeah, I can get my last flask too. Not that it would make a difference. I still get turned into an icicle. But you know what? I'm a cool icicle. Unintended. Maybe I should throw some more rocks at the dragon. just kind of shouts itself into existence. I kind of respect that. Oh, are you already yelling? That was quick. Do I just leave now? I love this attack. This is my favorite attack, actually. Honestly, I would like all the dragon fights a tiny bit more. If similar to the smaller dragons, they just have their head a little bit lower to the ground, so you feel like you can hit the head. I'm not a big fan of this, like, hitting the wings, hitting the feet. I prefer hitting the head. But with a lot of weapons, hitting the head feels inconsistent because the swing doesn't go high enough. And the smaller dragons, you can just whack them in the head so often and so consistently that you can stagger them very easily. And it's very satisfying. That's why I like this attack, is the head goes low to the ground for a few seconds. You're gonna yell again, aren't you? Yep. You're gonna yell more? And, and you're killing the jellyfish. What did the jellyfish ever do to you? <laughs> they were jelly. <laughs> that's funny, because that's... I'm done. Uh... weapons or have really bad jump attacks. Are you gonna yell more? Are you yelling? Are we not yelling? Like, I need to know. Like, can I get a status update on, like, the yelling situation? Because if you are yelling, I gotta, like, go. If you're not yelling, we can, we can tussle. Still the Oh my god, more yelling. I love being yelled at. That's why I'm a streamer. What if I gave you some rocks while you're over there yelling? They don't reach that far? Aw. I really got my hopes up for that one. Am I dead now? Just stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. He's yelling to on your weapon. Well, you know what, dragon? I don't appreciate backseating dragons. Are we yelling again? If you yell again now, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, this now. You better not yell. Oh my god. So annoying, dragon. There it comes. Whee! 
This is the slowest I've ever killed this dragon, I think. I should get some FP flasks back so I can throw some more spells at him from a distance. Also, how many times have I tanked your ice breath now? I gotta start paying attention. He's screaming so much and I'm kind of like zoning out. Better not yell. You better not yell. I'm telling you. He's gonna yell! I need like some something I can put in my ears or something so I can't hear him yell. This dragon. This dragon. Stop screaming so much. Have no like no FPL uh, at all for a half spellcaster. Wait, I'm I'm a half spellcaster. I cast sword. It's my favorite spell. Oh yeah, probably not attack the leg that steps on me. You better not. I mean, yeah. You could see him screaming from a mile away. Doesn't mean I like it. He's gonna scream, isn't he? <gasps> he didn't scream! What is this, Christmas? Oh, can I can do like a... Ah, yeah, run away anymore! Uh, I should pop that chicken foot. I think I was too late. He's yelling like in sub. Does the dragon have a channel? <laughs> like... <laughs> Where do I find this dragon? Honestly, it would be kind of cool if you just, like, tuned into a random, uh... Imagine tuning into a random stream, like a random Elden Ring stream, and it's just a dragon. Like, it's... The entire stream is just a dragon sitting here waiting for people to show up. How much did I get? Uh, 120k? 150k? Something like... It was a very round number. I feel like if I got the chicken leg off, it would have been less of a round number, but I'm not sure. Well, since I can level up, it's time to become more of a spellcaster and increase my... <laughs> getting more FP? Nah. Getting more faith? Yes. Yeah. It's great to be able to do more damage with the incantations so I don't have enough FP to cast. <laughs> Normally get 100k. I do have Golden Scarab, though. So I probably got more because of the Golden Scarab, but I didn't get uh, as much as I would have gotten from both Golden Scarab and Chicken Lake. Because Golden Scarab is probably 20%. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika, shall I share them? In Marika's own words, hark, brave warriors. Hark. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal. Put the giants to the sword, and let a new epoch be brandish the elf. We're almost the flame of- I'm glad I must tender my thank you. Please continue to- level am I? 129? I probably will reach like 
level 160-ish. So that's still 30 more levels. If I spend 5 more levels on Faith, 10 more levels on Vigor, we can dump the rest into mine. Like, I would like to technically eventually get 60 Vigor, but I have fought Melania with 50 Vigor, so... But that wasn't my intelligence build, which made it a lot easier. I would like to be able to have a lot of Vigor for Melania. The thing is, the only thing I need to be cautious of is... Certain things in phase 2 can one-shot me. Why do I have to have the howl? Uh, because sometimes when the dragon screams at you too much, you gotta scream back. That's my only damage buff. Shh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the worst part is I forget to use it. Actually, I did use it for like one stream. I used it before going into boss fights. Now I kind of just, I don't know, walk into boss fights. How many boss fights have I fought this stream? Let's see, we fought the Godskin dude. Rykard? And for right card, we didn't need a buff because we were testing stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this dragon just now? What else have we fought? Have we fought much? Did we fight something on the way up here? We fought uh, the twin fell omens. I should have used it for, for them because that's pretty good to have like high damage. We're gonna be fighting the friggin' Deathrite bird soon, so I guess I will try to remember to use the Hallish Brewery then. <laughs> Do I have to, like, activate the puzzle first, or does it work right away? It does work right away. Okay, watch me walk too far and fall off the bridge. How far do I go, game? Come on, help me out here. I don't see it. I'm gonna whip out the, um... I don't know why the game isn't showing me the fog. This is why I never liked this puzzle, because the fog is like very inconsistent. Like I feel like it's supposed to be the snow hitting the bridge, but the snow simply just doesn't. That's what the puzzle says. It's like, oh, the snow falling reveals something hidden. It literally doesn't. It's going through the bridge. Like this snow is not hitting anything. Let's make some rainbow stones. Do the Dark Souls one way. I can see the fog every now and then. Oh, I see it. I saw it for a second. There it is. I see it. Now watch me die to the enemy here. This guy has no chill. Oh, there's two of them! Alright, chill! Heal me. I demand healing. I have no FP. Imagine if I leveled up mind or something. Wouldn't that be helpful? Wouldn't that be useful? Use both more incantations and weapon arts? 
<laughs> no. It's a good thing the class I started as has high mind. Because otherwise I would have even less. <laughs> I would not have leveled mind at all. I leveled a lot of mind at the beginning of my sorcerer playthrough. Had I not spent so much on strength and dex to be able to wield certain weapons, I would have leveled mine by now. Get down from there. Don't need mine, just gotta use incantations. That sounds complicated. You're telling me I have to, like, equip an incantation and a seal and then press a button? No, that might be a bit much. Oh, I didn't make it. I should have just jumped right away. I think I'll be able to walk onto those balloons, actually. I might need, like, a bow or something. Mm, bow. We have arrows. I do have arrows. Do I have the Flame of the Fell God spell? I don't think I do. Demon dog. I think I have it in my other character. I'll check. Also, flashbang warning. A bit late, but. There we go. Flame of Fell God. Legendary incantation is one of the several that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. Releases a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. The firewall floats towards enemies and explodes. I thought this was a reward for uh, beating the fire giant boss. Flashbang warning. <laughs> it's from Leonia. Ah. See, what did I not do in Leonia since I have found it before? Mentions the the fire giants, so like the thing that ties the closest into the fire giants would be the fire monks. So maybe I will miss some of the fire monk encampments. There's a fire monk encampment like around here. There's a fire monk encampment around here. 
possibly some other places. Uh, so look, look, let's look for some fire monks. Everjail guy? Did I not fight him? I think I might have forgotten. <laughs> yeah, for reference, you probably shouldn't just tell me things. <laughs> I might be lenient now, but I may not be in the future. I do remember this fight, though. For some reason, I thought that was the fight on the west end, but that's the friggin' giant. Two giants. So I very much remember this ever jail with the weird friggin' chonky fella. Just never really felt like he did anything, because he kind of just shows up and you whack him. Like you show me your uh, you show me your fire skill and I'll show you mine. How about that? How about that? The, the cool one. The cool one. There you go, and then I'll show you this. I think mine's cooler. Do I have O Flame? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> I did honestly more damage than I thought it would. I'm constantly surprised by how much damage weapon arts do in this game. Uh, I watched a friend play this who recently... This is his first FromSoft game ever. His build is a bit all over the place, but uh, he's using like the... Um, I have the weapon art. This is this one, Bloody Slash. I think it's Bloody Slash. He's using Bloody Slash. When he hits someone with his weapon, he does like 50 damage. When he whips out Bloody Slash, he does like 600. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Do I have... Like, which flame incantations do I have? I do enjoy the fire incantations. I have so few. And I thought I was being thorough. I'm gonna have to like do all these playthroughs over again at some point where I know where to find things. <laughs> the thing is, I found them on my first character. I just don't remember where they were because when I found an incantation or a spell on my first character, I was like, oh, I can't use that, so I'm moving on. <laughs> I don't have the site. No, I do have the site. I go backwards. Must have been more thorough in my first playthrough. I felt like I was being more thorough in this one simply because I missed a lot of like very obvious things in the first one. But I guess I missed the obvious things and found the hidden things in my first one. And this one I'm uh, missing the opposite, I suppose. I been down here. Ooh, precarious jumps. If only there was a ring that prevented fall damage. I 
I swear there's like multiple fire, fire monk camps and I can't remember where the other ones are. Because I know there's one here. See someone's talking about Bloody Slash, your favorite? Yup. That hits like a truck. Probably going to be using that on the beginning of my arcane playthrough, most likely. Don't see why not. I mean, I reckon the reason why it does such good damage is because it uses a little bit of your health to cast, so it's kind of trying to compensate for the fact that you're sacrificing health for a skill that might miss. But man, does it feel like the damage it does is a little bit overtuned. And I'm not complaining. Like, I think it's fine to have some, some whack high damage things here and there. I'm pretty sure I've been to this Firemon camp, but I swear there's a second one. You have flame cleanse me? I have flame, flame cleanse me, yeah. You not, better not be sitting with a wiki and looking at uh, incantations <laughs> and going like, do you have this one? Do you have this one? Do you have this one? <laughs> Check this way on this side. You had dual bloody slash katanas with mimic, and you killed Mog before he could me heal. I am upset that even if you use the this thing. Purifying Crystal Tear. I'm upset that even if you use this, he still heals. Like, you don't take the damage, but he still heals. That feels like a bit of a cop-out, to be honest. I feel like he shouldn't heal. Have I looted your wagon? Probably? Yes, I have. So I remember this camp. This camp was annoying because that random magic dude kept throwing spells at me. Still stealing some of your life? But you don't take any damage when you have the bubble tier, so... Because I feel like he should be healing because he's damaging you, but he still heals even if he's not damaging you. But at least you get to whack him while he's doing it. So if you do have a blood build, you probably damage him more than he heals. song they sing is so beautiful, but I hate them. I hate those enemies. Don't like them. Don't respect them. They're annoying. They should have just kept the singing. It's the good old Revenger Shack. And this goes all the way to the tower. Hmm. I mean, it would make more sense if I missed more things up here, considering I hadn't done this. Maybe I should just go along the path up there and see if I missed anything. 
The most funny thing is his main weakness is bleed while being the Lord of Blood. I mean, he is the Lord of Blood, so... If you take all the blood away from him, what does that make him, you know? We get the shackle? Oh, I don't use the shackle. Not a big fan of shackling. There's a fire monk camp. I done that one. I mean, I probably should shackle Mog because I don't respect him. But, okay, honestly, I should. What I should do is I should shackle him, and then I should throw friggin' uh, fetid pots at him. Not because it's a good strategy or anything, but just because I don't respect him. Yoink. Boy. Boy, that spell is about, be, about to be mine. Alright, do I go all the way back to the sanctuary or are we not here anymore? I'm about to find out. Do I know Mog and Nikella lore? Not really. But also don't take yeah, don't uh don't tell me. <laughs> Bonk. You guys still over there? Okay, what if I got all of you on the line and I just, like, got all of you in one swing? Alright, two of them, I'll take two. Rykart's Great Rune do again? Is that also like heal on everything you kill? It is, isn't it? So if you just want to go way overboard, you just do this sword with Rykart's Rune and uh... And the Talisman Trinket thing. Hello, friend. Heard you like Stagger! Yeah, I like Rikard's Rune for just, like, running around and exploring. So you basically just never have to heal. Same as using this sword, essentially. Stab him in the face. Are these guys always here? I don't remember. Oh, it seems like Mr. Mask has moved on. A 
to where? Maybe he's just dead. I'll see if his mask's at the bottom of the bridge. Oh, is that a golden seed I missed? That would explain why I was a few short of having max flasks earlier. Yoink. I don't remember if I have to like, if I just find it at the end of the bridge or if you have to climb down the bridge. I feel like it shouldn't be at the bottom of the bridge though. Can you put you good up on your avatar? What do you mean? Rip. Gravity one. <laughs> Oh, can I put my hood up? Oh, that would have been nice if I could do that, actually. Oh, I don't have that. Uh, the technology isn't there yet. Small indie streamer. Can't win against gravity? Oh, I've been told. I'll find a way, though. True final boss. We'll check if Corrin is back in the round table. I feel like he wouldn't go back to the round table, but who knows? Maybe I have to give the book to the turtle. She still says nothing new. Let's see. Do I want to know? Nah, not really. If I find him, I find him. So that's a crone. That's Shabriri. Because I've once found him after burning the Ur tree. Well, I found his remains once after burning the Ur tree, but I haven't burnt the Ur tree yet, so. Which would be on the other side of the Colosseum. But I could also check if. Maybe he's gone to check the statue. I feel like I would see him on the map, though. Usually you can see NPCs on the map, even if they move. There's a few exceptions. You wonder how this game would play at half gravity, affecting monsters and bosses alike? Ooh. That'd be kind of interesting. It would be so whack trying to get plunging attacks. <laughs> but you could also do some sick dodges, like imagine just jumping over a swing and doing a plunging attack. You could already do that for some attacks. Corin, are you here? Corin is not here. Shortcuts. Is 
side rolls would be twice as long, but half as fast. Damn. Would you also get twice the... Um, twice the iframes? Wait, would also attacks be slow then? Would like attacks have less weight to them? Can these guys step inside the Colosseum? I wonder. I feel like there would be a wall, like an invisible wall. I think there is, yeah. Good weapon art, by the way. Where did I see him last time? I saw him over here last time. Place where I checked. The cheese? Oh, I do like my cheese. I'm gonna have homemade pizza tomorrow. That's gonna have a lot of cheese on it. So I, I should probably save some cheese, actually, for tomorrow. If I cheese too much today, I won't be able to make pizza tomorrow. That would be really quite unfortunate. Let's see... Any chance he just went even closer to the Erd Tree? Because that seems to be like the Golden Masks thing, right? He's getting closer and closer to the Erd Tree. Maybe he went closer after um, I beat Morgoth. Because now it's like safe to come even closer. That's a possibility. Ah, uh, looks empty. Very empty. What about the round table? Maybe they went to the round table. Wait, does half gravity, half the strength requirement, but double dex requirements? Ooh. Ooh. But if you halve the strength requirement, do you also reduce the Damage of strength weapons? I haven't picked up that item. Quick scan for... Interesting how Alexander is still over here. I thought he was going to the mountains, but he's still hanging out, apparently. After learning what the gold mask learned, where would he go in the world? If I was the gold mask, where would I be? I mean, it could be that he's moved on to the mountains somewhere I haven't been, and I have to keep exploring the mountains to find him. Could be that simple. I'll try to get it, like, the second floor here, though. Get the item I missed, see if he's actually in here. Um... I want hint or not? All right, we'll do it this way, okay? I will ask you a question, one single question. You're only allowed to answer yes or no, right? So no, like, more information. Only yes or no. So if you if you can't answer the question, if you don't know, then you can just say you don't know. But don't don't elaborate at all. Only yes or no. So essentially. Is it somewhere in Altus Plateau? That's the 
asked a question. All right, we got one yes and we got one no. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it's not an Altus Plateau, and if they have moved on, then I should move on as well. So, if that's the case, then I will just I will just move on. And now, if I find him later, I'll find him later. If I don't, then so be it. It's essentially just to save me from like sitting around an Altus Plateau and doing nothing for the next uh, twenty minutes. So, in that case, we will move on. But then you don't need to say anything more because uh, we don't need that. But I do want to explore this Fire Monk place. If Fox was here, Fox would tell me that he's at the, uh, the, the, the Rose Church. Because that's where everything happens, apparently. That is like the center of the lands between. It's where everything congregates and everything is destined to meet. When I like swing some, like if I, when I hit someone with this sword, right? Because it has like these gross little arms on it, like tiny little gross arms. Do you think like this weapon just like gives the enemy like a thousand small like bitch slaps? That's gotta be how it works, right? Ladder fight! <laughs> I win! <laughs> I don't go all the way up. No, 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 don't throw spells over there. We're gonna have another ladder fight. No, 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 come on, come on up. Come on, come on up. All right, if I go to the top, then you're gonna be like, I need to go up there, right? Come on. Come on, come on. No, no, no. They're not being any fun at all. Come on, ladder fights. Hey. Hey. Fight me on the ladder. Meet me behind the school at 3 p.m. I'm gonna beat you up. They don't want to. Let's start right there. Hello? Excuse you? Come on. Let's go. Ladder fights. Come on, let's go. Ladder fights. As if they have the mental capacity to climb down a ladder, but not up a ladder. Fuck it. That's what you get. For ruining my fun. I just wanted to have a good old fashioned ladder fights. But no. Can't have nice things in this world. Wait, these, these, wait, hold on. These guys have red names. That means they function like NPC invaders. That means I can grab you, right? Can I not grab you? Come on, you function essentially like an NPC. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Let's try again. Oh no, let me grab you. No, you will let me grab you. You don't understand. You don't. I've waited so long for someone to grab. Sheesh, they are so annoying. I want to grab you. It's gotta be possible. In every single conceivable way, you function like a player. Stop staggering me. Dude, I will buff my poise so hard. Their combo does not end. Grab him! Grab him! Let go! Let go! Let go. Oh. What happens now? 
But yeah, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> no, I don't have any SP. Hold on, we can get SP. We can solve this. I'm gonna grab them to death. Did I active? Did it not go off? How slow is that item? Hold on. God, is that slow? Oh my god. Well, you have good rotation ability. Are you gonna keep stabbing me to death? Oh, you missed. Haha, <laughs> sucka. Sucka. Get him! Look into my eyes! What do you see? <laughs> you can combo the grab into another grab? What the heck? That sounds disgusting. I didn't have enough FP the first time, though. If only I leveled some mind, maybe I would have. Okay, if I didn't miss the first two grabs, I also would have enough, actually. But that's, that's, uh, that's a different matter. That's just a theory. A game theory. See you next time. Do we have more people up here? We have a dog. We have two dogs. Oh yeah? That one shot me. I was one frame away from grabbing him though. Because you're probably invulnerable during the grab, right? Just like backstabs and, and such. So does that mean if you... PvP someone and you get one grab? Is it technically a one shot then? Because you can just keep spamming it until they die. Or is it only Gideon that is too small brain to get out of the grab after one hits and in PvP any sensible person can get away after one hits? Oh, here come the dogs. Do, do, do. How did how did you know? How did you know? Excuse you. How did you know? Get into my hands. Come here. I gotta I gotta live my uh, my favorite enemy from Dark Souls uh, three. Oh no 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 no! Stop burning me! Stop burning me! We're gonna. Ha how much range does that have? Okay, they really buffed Fire Whip. Since when does Fire Whip have that much range? Is Fire Whip good now? Every other FromSoft game, Fire Whip has been, like, shorter than a dagger. And awful damage. But that actually went pretty far. That was actually, like, kind of threatening. Isn't it this? We're all flame? The surge flame is like the flame floor one, I think. Come here. I'm actually gonna have to get poise. Okay, time to do the friggin... Hold on, lady, you need to give me a break. Really? Ow. Rude. Is that enough poise? That should be enough poise. Should be able to tank one small hit. It's a big hit, I can't do it. There we go. Come here, friend. Let's do it again. Here. 
Uh, where's my confessor robes? Confessor armor. All right, go item crafting and we'll go make a few iron jar pots. Oh, I cannot make many of these. We're gonna make them count. with my last starlight shard. If you get enough buff, it will be enough to one-shot them. Isn't that kind of like saying if you do more damage, you'll do enough damage to kill them? Isn't that kind of like... <laughs> in a way, what you're saying? <laughs> If you do more damage, you'll do more damage. There we go. This is very similar to like a PvP strat in Dark Souls 3 which had, like, Iron Skin and, uh, whatever the friggin' Fire Grab move is called. Ah, I lost my Fire Skin, no, Iron Skin. Ah, oh, I don't have enough. cool in, in iron though i feel like it's not irony it's very quicksilver but i'll take it i missed the strategy for dark souls one as well where you went like full havel sets and iron skin for four kings in here <laughs> did I instantly build up madness in him that was so quick bro chill this guy likes his fire magic how do you like jumping attacks I was doing something. Oh, shit! Shit! That don't go! <laughs> I didn't know that shield could shoot! That is awesome! Shield playthrough when? Oh my god. <laughs> that shield in one hand, uh, the face shield from like the, the war wagons in the other hand. Ooh. Full ram armor or uh, briar armor, one of those two, and iron skin. That would get so tedious because you would spend like five hours walking anywhere. Okay, I'll save all my grabs for when I get to that guy. Because I kind of want to grab him. There's a good chance he's just going to one-shot me while I try to grab him, but... Uh, if that happens, so be it. What, what are you looking at? What are you even... What? 
Huh? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Jump attack. Briar armor with iron skin would look really cool. Ooh, it's probably true, yeah. Can you st wait, can you still Probably, right? Hold on. I got to try this. Does this work? How many do I have left? Okay. Yo. Hold on. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> I wasted all my FP now. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to do Bloodhound stuff, but I didn't have it equipped, so I was like, oh, I'll just... <laughs> Wait, do you miss if I just walk slowly sideways? I'll do that again. No, I'll do it again. Oh, my thing ran out. Uh-oh, okay, don't do it now. <laughs> he slapped me! <laughs> you should have committed to that one. Where did the dogs come from? Yeah, shoot the dogs. Shoot, sh no, no, shoot the dogs for me. What's the dog doing? He can't make up his mind if he wants to shoot or not. Oh, you can't hit the dogs? That's a let down. Oh, you missed. Oh, how much damage the shield blast actually did, too. Is he doing it? He never commits. He's so scared of committing. One-eyed shield. I don't think I've actually gone up here before. I think I've always missed this part of the castle. I don't remember ever getting this. One-eyed shield. Is that like the chest of the giant? It's gotta be, right? A tricksome shield made from white stone depicting a malformed one-eyed god. The barrel of uh, a firearm pokes through the open mouth. What if I stab this guy? That would be funny. What if you what if you could look use a stabby weapon to stab him through? Then slap him though? Oh, I should have slapped him. Once worshipped by the giants, this evil deity is believed to have been slain by Queen Marika. Oh yeah, the giants are so evil. Can't have a game with good giants, right? Flame spit. Yeah, use like this and this. Like this in one hand, this in the other. Has to be done. How stupid would it look though? Actually, I gotta see how stupid it would look. Honestly, it's not the dumbest thing I've seen. Which one should be like the shield hand, though? This one has 75 guard boost, 100 fiscal. This one has 66. Okay, so probably this one and the shield hand. Schmack with this. It prioritizes the, we the weapon art of the offhand one, though. I guess because they're shields. So if you want to use this, you got to two-hand it. Does it have any like fancy scalings? It only scales with strength. I'm not even sure if the weapon arc would scale with anything, but it remains to be seen, I suppose. Oh, a chest. Ooh, giant's prayer book. Must have never had that one either before, though. So is this sparkle I'm hearing just like a random beetle outside, or is it actually like an important one? It's probably just a random beetle. There's so many random beetles here. Oh, it's a shame I don't know where Corrin is. 
And if I wasn't stubborn, I would just give the prayer box to, um... To the Pope Turtle. But I kind of, I want Corin to give me his traditional... That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Ur Tree. this I do okay, where is this beetle I hear it but I don't see it but I know there's a lot of like basic beetles around here but that would be a good excuse to hide one ba fancy beetle like just one that gave something good See you? Yeah, you're actually a fancy one. Uh, I don't have any tricks up my sleeve, though. Do I have any... Oh, I have these. I haven't tried these yet. Wait, those also use FP. Dang it. Just throw knives at them, though. If this is just like a somber smithing stone or a smithing stone- Ooh! Oh, wait, you can get this as an Ash of War? That's the one you have on the hammer, the red hammer. That's kind of neat. I didn't know you could get it as an Ash. I thought that was a, a unique Ash of War for that weapon only. That's kind of a fun uh, weapon art, actually. Let's see, what can it be put on? Usable on large and colossal axes and hammers. Oh, you can't use it on a colossal sword? That's a shame. The thing that would go the hardest was if you could use it on a shield. Honestly, that would be dope. Like, put that on a spiked shield? That would be so cool. Any indication of seeing NPCs now? Probably wouldn't show up either. Thing is, I don't really want to go through here yet. I want to go through Castle Soul up here, get the medallion, go into the lower part of the area, which also means I gotta fight the Deathrite Bird, the Commander. Is there also like a boat? I don't remember if there's a boat. I also want to go to these ruins. That's Three markers? No, that's five markers. Oh, there's also an Earth tree up there. I've got plenty of things to do up here. Might have to take a quick bathroom break, though. It's probably a good idea, especially if I'm going to fight the Deathrite Bird, because I've had some questionable experiences fighting that Deathrite Bird, so uh, I'm going to be right back.
Oh, I am back. All right, let's see. So we just ride up the mountain and see what happens. I was supposed to try to remember using Halosh Breary. I also haven't tried Noble Presence yet. Time to waste all my FP on something random, so I don't have enough for Halosh Breary when I fight an actual boss. Or just die to a random skeleton, because the incantation is too slow and I have no voice. What if I'm all the way over here? Nothing! Okay, charge it. Oh yeah, it kind of did something. I wouldn't say it was good, but it did something. I'm dead. <laughs> Why don't I have any flasks? Oh, uh, I keep forgetting to change them. That is why I don't have any flasks. <laughs> I used to have three, and then I swapped them away when I fought right card because I didn't need blue flasks for him. Uh, let's swap back. Let's see, flasks. There we go. Like, if I swap my, uh, my bubbles on the Physic, I'll probably forget swapping back for, like, several sessions. When I went to the, the Rock Lake ones down here, I swapped the flask to cure status effects and I kept using status effect uh, cleanse flask for so long. I knew I had it on the flask as well. Every time I used the flask, I was like, mm, I know I have the wrong thing. I should swap it next time I get to a side of grace. And then I forgot. Oh, you don't stagger from this? So these guys hit pretty hard. Good thing I can heal myself. Together! I mean, probably the reason why I have some squishes is because I'm using these uh, sacred scorpion things. Uh, for the sake of just being a bit sturdy, let's try to take his cameo for a bit. That way I won't take as much damage and I'll be healing more. Now we can beat up some snails for healing. I feel like the amount you heal. We can't skip to live, it's keeping you 10 seconds behind. Huh. That's weird. I don't know why we would do that. I hear a spooky noise. Ow! You guys shot at me. I don't like being shot at. I'm stuck in a tombstone. Soon that will be my tombstone. I didn't hear no heal. Give me my health. There we go. Alright, that might have been a bit ambitious. The fact that it's long range makes it really nice for hitting many enemies in the line. That's probably like a really good uh, Ash to use in uh, PvP if you can bait someone into like a narrow hallway. I mean, it's relatively easy to probably iframe, but being able to not dodge sideways might make some people panic and misroll.
You closed and reopened, now it's fixed. Hey, nice. It's insane how many problems can be fixed by just restarting something. It's like, got a pro problem with the browser? Restart the browser. Got a pro problem with the computer? Restart your computer. Got a problem with your uh, attitude? Restart your mentality. <laughs> this does the trick. Works 100% of the time, 60% of the time. a boss over here? I feel like there might be an Erd Tree avatar, but I don't remember. We'll find out soon enough. Got a problem with the world? Reset the world. Exactly. We're just gonna find the reset button. We haven't quite found it yet. Yeah, there is an Erd Tree avatar here. Hello, friend. You like my very cool sword? It's got little fingers on it, or hands, or whatever you want to call them. I love fighting these guys. It's just, they remind me of Stray Demon from Dark Souls 1. That's a skill I don't usually see him use. <gasps> There's two of you! I think I've always killed him too fast. Okay, don't kill me with that. Ah, oh, come on, don't interrupt me while I'm gonna heal. Don't kill me. Uh, your friend is using that move? That is kind of scummy, don't you think? And now you're using it? All right, come on, guys. Twice? All right, let me just run around for the next foreseeable millennia. I didn't roll. Am I dead? Oh, no, he missed. Oh, you have three attacks now. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I got cool news too. Wow. Ah, oh, he's faster than me. Oop. Imagine the damage I would do if I uh, hit them both with one uh, Ash of War. Do you drop a lot of... Nah. I swear the one in Kaelid gives more than this one. Should use Mimic for this fight because it would be cool? That would be cool, actually. Should make that a thing for every playthrough. Those bubble tears, is that just like the extra one that heals and something else, or? Restores it. Oh, it restores HP when near death. Also, what's these ones? I'm not sure. It's whack to me that there's like, not only is there one of these in the game, there's two of these in the game. Because for some reason, maybe someone would like to have their physic be a full heal or a full FP restore. I don't know who would want that. There's probably someone who wants that, but that's like, that feels insane to me. Like, well, just... Out of all the potions you can make, you made a basic healing potion. You know, the thing you have 15 of, well, 14. And sure, it heals more, but... Still. <laughs> I hope they add more bubble tears in the DLC. I feel like they won't. And if they do, it's probably just going to be like one or maybe two. Hey, I found gold mask. Ooh, and a somber nine. Mm, still, still T-posing. Honestly, a great emote. <laughs> it's such a good emote. <laughs> I love it. What is he doing now? Nice to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. Yeah, you're kind of cold. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. 
All right. The rhythms and calculus of the master's finger mm -hmm. betray a suspicion of the holism of the golden order, a conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Don't you stab him? How could this be? Don't you stab him in the back? I dread to even entertain the possibility, but somehow I cannot cast aside my doubts about the master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the master were true to the golden order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is friggin... he's... Oh! I can give him the tonic forgetfulness? Uh, from before I do that, I'm gonna give you all the prayer books and buy you all your stuff in case you forget all the prayer books I've given you. That, it's incantation. <laughs> it's a work of heresy. Entry, I cannot afford to maintain my innocence any longer. I must, even if it offers only the most neat. That. That. Is a work of it's a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the earth tree. Very well. I cannot, even if it offers. Let's see. O oh, flame. Giant's flame. Take the. That's two. Okay. I'm getting all the fire stuff now. Flame fall upon them. Surge O oh, Flame. Alright, that covers all of them. You want this? What is this? It will make me forget, you say, so that I can push aside these frightful thoughts. <laughs> Would that I could. Would that I could. Did he not take it? Oh, he didn't take it. it. Will make me forget, you say, so that I can push aside these frightful thoughts. <laughs> Would that I could. It will make so that I can. <laughs> Would that I could. May the gold. You can. Oh, this might not end well. It will make me so that I would that I could. May the golden order. This might not go the way that I'm trying to make it go. Which would be unfortunate, but that's a part of playing blind. if I didn't have any FP to do the puzzle. Is there some big brain thing I can do to get enough FP? I don't think so, because the only thing I have to restore FP is critical hits. And the only thing here is bats. See if I can find a site of grace nearby. Wait, no, I have flasks now! What am I saying? I have flasks now! Because <laughs> I changed them, because you reminded me! <laughs> what am I talking about? We're fine! I have a jellyfish. I love this puzzle. I wonder if, like, the jellyfish are just two random people, or if they have to do with Ronnie. Because I've always thought that Ronnie looks like a jellyfish. 
Like, I feel like that should be like Ronnie and a sister she has or something like that. Or maybe even Ronald and a sister she has. I don't know, but like, I really feel like that should be... This is the Primal Glintstone Blade. What was that again? Was that a... Uh... Alisman? Tr trinkets? Let's see. Spells consume less FP, but maximum HP is reduced. Right. Let's have a closer look around. Oh yeah, I've seen the, the tombstone once before. I don't remember exactly where that was. It's like off the side. Is it here? Do I live? I live. Let's see, what do they say? Here lies Aurelia and Aureliet, who never saw the stars. Which is messed up. Who the heck is Aurelia and Aureliet? Like, is it just a little bit of sad or is it a, a lot of sad. This is very typical from Soft to have a sad story. But is it just a sad story or is it a really, really sad story? <laughs> is there more to it? Probably. Who knows? Probably someone out there. There's probably like a video about it. It's like, there's why you should have severe depression because of that one tombstone and, and the mountain tops of the giants. Video essay. I love the uh, Vati video, prepare to cry videos. They're great. Now, what's messed up is a YouTuber you watched murdered the waiting sister instead. They were like, what could be the solution to this puzzle? What if I just kill them? <laughs> I've come up with like a lot of friggin' crazy solutions to puzzles, but that one is a bit. <laughs> Ooh. Also, where's my health bar? Where did my health bar go? Oh, my health bar back. Oh, Gashadol Kuro. I want this as a spell. He murdered multiple kind NPCs. Oh, don't tell him he killed Bach. What kind of monster would kill Bach? <laughs> yes. Phone. <laughs> Who would do that? Um. All right. Uh, how about that uh, demon right bird boss fight? Huh? That one's uh, that one's kind of tough, right? Uh. You know what kind of monster would kill Bach? But you no, no. Oh, what, what is this? What is this? Hold on, I got, I got, I got some soda for you. Here, here, drink this. This, drink this. This will, this will make you feel, this will make you feel better. Oh, hold on, here, have this. It's, it's a gift. Oh, here comes the bird. Bird's the word. Oh, I was supposed to remember using my thing! Hold on, let me just buff myself. If I die, I die. I died. <laughs> Beast I quivered. Yeah. Do you be doing that? Yeah, get rid of the bird and then we can uh, quiver all we want. Wait, huh? That sounds weird. <laughs> what am I saying? I should unequip the, um, the grab now. I don't even have the grab equipped. Dude. He didn't even get close. Ow. Oh, 
Stop screaming at me! Oh my god! Chill! That's the most aggressive opener I've ever seen from this bird. <laughs> this weapon is really fun, actually. Because it's so long range, it feels really good to free aim. Like, I don't have to rely on the auto target tracking. I can just pre aim and hit where I think the boss is going to be, and it works pretty consistently. And it actually has hyper armor, unlike the God Slayer Blade. I might bench the God Slayer Blade now, to be honest. This is kind of. All right, let me scream a bit. We're both just missing every attack. I think I live. <laughs> oh. I swear the Deathbird's grab is probably one of the most damaging grabs in the game. Like, even if you shoulder spam, I swear he hits you so many times. Like, even if I was full health, that would do a lot of damage. I wasn't even close to full health. Like, that was going to kill me no matter what, but... I should probably use this before he shows up. We found the limit of the range. That's... Uh, was a one-shot. I mean, I guess it technically was a two-shot, I think, because I think he put, like, an explosive on me. And then he hit me at the same time as the explosive went off. Hitting with the actual weapon does damage as well. Ah, <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. I thought we were complaining about me not using enough magic. This counts as magic, right? <laughs> this is kind of magic. Oh, I want my runes. Move your bird ass. Also, I'm supposed to be buffing myself with things. Oh, I got a plan. Okay, I got a plan. Okay, I got a, I got a plan. Oh, oh, during the Ash War. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like uh, Dark Moon Blade then, where it does like a truckload of damage if you hit both the projectile and the weapon itself. I didn't even think of that. Okay, I got a plan though. I got kind of like a plan. This is pretty good stagger. If I throw enough rocks at him, he's gonna stagger and then we hit him with the blade.
Unfortunate death bird. I want to throw rocks at you. damage should do a lot it does it does insane damage to these guys i just i have a very specific thing i want to try which is really stupid so my stupid specific thing i want to try let's swap back to the fire damage uh scorpion talisman as well just to maximize it so the stupid thing i want to try is i want to stagger him and then i want to walk up and just do big uh two big two weapon arts with this sword with buffs. Do I still have, like, fire damage on this? Yes. But I gotta stagger him first. Let's see. Oh, you already spawned? Oh, you annoying bird. I can't throw that far, can I? Probably if I free aim. This is a physical projectile. It's probably kind of hard to do, though. Like, that goes far if you free aim. I think I headshot it. I think I headshot him with one of the rocks. That's honestly so cool. Could you not be this persistent? I love this line of fire. But it's fun to throw those rocks. If I had a bigger stamina bar and the FP flask for infinite FP, so I can just like start chucking them at the beginning. Also, I don't know how many runes I lost there, but yeah. Ah, who needs runes? Uh, uh buff myself. Throw rocks. Throw rocks. Throw them. My aim sucks. Oh, I hit a bit. Can you stop putting fire on top of me? It's getting kind of cringe. My aim is so good. Oh, no, never mind. I take it back. 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 <laughs> I might as well be throwing potatoes at him. Is that some potato aim right there? Man, this guy's so persistent where you don't want to be in his face. I could just be fighting him normally. I would have probably beat him much faster than. But. I'm gonna hyper fixate on the bad, bad, bad strategy because why not? I love being stuck in this fire. I'm gonna run out of FP. Okay, can you stop putting fire everywhere? Honestly, it's not that cool. And that's considering the fact that it applies frostbite. You'd think it would be cool, but it's not. You just rolled into war of fire? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's his fault for putting the fire where I wanted to go. Okay, I might have to try to stagger him with melee because I think I'm going to run out of <laughs> FP before I stagger him. What are you doing? What are you oh, that's a cool attack. I like that one. That was... 
I want that as an attack myself. Now I could have thrown some rocks at you. Hey. I'm dead. Yep. He always does that when I... When I approach him. You know what? We're gonna start with the melee weapon and try to stagger him that way. That worked better. I think... I'm overestimating the stagger on the rocks because I'm comparing it to Sling, the meteorite spell from uh, sorceries. But with this rock, I have to aim a bit more myself. If I was using Sling, they those rocks home in on the target, so it's easier to get like a lot of them in a short amount of time. I need my buffs as well, though. Otherwise, the damage isn't gonna matter. I mean, it's totally good damage, but I want it to be really good damage. But can you stop putting fog on everyone? Yeah, you could just kill me as well. Honestly. All right, can we like start like a trend where we just remind me to use the friggin' Howl of Shabrimi before I start to fight because I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I just... I don't have the mind for remembering to use Hallow Shabrir in this game. Howl? What do you mean, howl? I'm kidding. <laughs> what is a howl? Oh my, did you see that damage? Dang it. First one hit for two thousand three hundred, though. Also, I missed the major buff back in the Altus area. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Owl, please. Okay, in my defense, this boss spawns really early. Like, I have barely taken a step forward, so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna spawn right now. Big hit, come on. Really? That was enough range to hit me? Come on. Where are you going? We're having a fight. I ran out of this. I ran out of juice. I think if I want to get the best damage, I gotta hit him in the face. Not in the body. I think that's how I get to 2,300. Enough fire. Stop with the fire. It's not... It's not cool. It's not classy. No, just stagger, just stagger. Nah. We're so close to greatness. I would have staggered him, I swear. Pull it back. Get staggered. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Get that. No, I'm alive. I had no IP. I don't know how I lived, but I lived. There comes the fire. Oh. Calculated. your head hmm chicken legs 120 really death ritual spear death ritual spear all 
Oh, that's how you get the spectral spheres. I want I want the deathbird stuff as like spells and incantations. I don't want it on a weapon. I don't want it as an ash of war. I want it as spells and incantations. Also, can someone tell the giant skeletons up in the graveyard to shut up? <laughs> They've been going at it throughout the entire however many fights that was. Starlight shards. You can shut them up. You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hey. Hey. How about you shut your mouth, huh? He, he didn't like that. I swear there's like a boatman here somewhere or something. But I thought maybe it had to be nighttime? Maybe I'm just misremembering things? That's why I want a side of grace. I think I must have stumbled upon it on my first playthrough. Because on my first playthrough, I just like literally found the boss immediately. I didn't even look for them. I just like immediately ran into the boss. And then I was surprised that there was a death right bird right afterwards. I was like, wait, two bosses back to back? Seems a bit excessive. I want to beat this guy up now though. My skeleton. Can you stop being in the wall? Okay, maybe I should dodge that properly and not just spam rolls. Maybe I should do what I just said I should do. I have no flasks. What if I had flasks? Wouldn't that be nice? You know what? Holy damage. You like holy damage, don't you? It's like Volnir all over again. These die quivers. All right, guys, chill. My beast die is quivering. Time to think. Or I could just stand. Oh, never mind, they came back. I would kind of like my potions back. I got my potions back. Is there not a sight of grace down by the death right bird? Do I really have to go all the way to the castle soul? I did not see a sight of grace spawn after the boss fight. All 
I want to try making it nighttime just to see if that helps for some reason. Because I think it was nighttime when I went through there, but I might just be assuming that it was. Maybe it'll be easier to see what I'm, whatever I'm supposed to see when it's dark. Alternatively, I run into the area from two different locations, and then I put a marker as soon as I see the beast eye quiver thing, and then I just use that to find a position. I had a thought. I had, very controversial, I know. I had a thought. Um, I'm going to try the thoughts once I get my roots back. These like quivers. Oh, there, there you are. I see you. I, I don't need my thought, then. Chill! Bro! Thinks he's the main character or something. I reckon, okay, I reckon I think I know why I found that guy so easily on, um... On my first playthrough. I think it's literally because I was trying to get down here. That was hugging this cliff. That's probably what happened. Or cherry leaf, don't mind if I do. Ding dong! Loud mausoleum coming through! The beast I quivereth. Whatever that means. Wait, hold on. I have to do this for reasons. I've got roll on by a snake. Oh, I'm fighting the real boss over here. All right, we got the boss. Now we can fight the dude. You're probably gonna run away, aren't you? Drop a lot. Oh, that's how you get that weapon. That weapon looks kind of neat. Let's see. Health and steeple. Intelligence weapon. Ruinous ghost flame. The ghost flame adds magic damage to attacks, also has a bit of recall bites. I want to use this in a future playthrough. It looks kind of cool. I just like the snails, honestly. They have very cool designs. Like these ones? I like those. They look sick. And I don't mean that in like that they need to take a day off of work kind of sick. I mean like they look awesome. I mean, if you look like that, you probably are sick and you should take a day off work. But that doesn't change the fact that you also look awesome. died so many times. I was trying to look for like a site of grace to see that before I went back to talk to Corin, but since I've died, that's technically the same as getting at a site of grace, right? I'm gonna see if anything has uh, transpired over by Corin now. Maybe he stabbed the gold mask in the back. Maybe he is the gold mask now. Maybe he puts on the gold mask and then he goes like, I've found it. My very own son. 
And then we all have like PTSD flashbacks to Dark Souls 1. aside these frightful thoughts <laughs> what that I could what that I could may the golden or hmm And I remember trying to save Solaire in Dark Souls 1, it was such a stressful experience. Because unless you do like the... Um, what am I call it? Unless you do the thing where you give like a bunch of humanities to the... the what is it called? The Covenant? Chaos Witch Covenant? Yeah, unless you do give those to open the shortcuts. You would have to do like some wacky like running through Isolith without resting at the uh, bonfires and without dying to make sure that you could uh, reach the other end without triggering the event that would cause him to die, I think. Because if you open the shortcut, then it's much easier, right? You, you give this sort of humanity, you open the shortcut, you kill the bug. But if you don't do that, I believe there was a way to complete the quest nonetheless. If just when you last see Solaire before he moves there, you run straight throughout the entirety of Isolith without like resetting the game, without sitting at a bonfire, without dying. So the game never enters a loading screen and you run all the way to that, um, whatever that sunlight maggot is called. And you kill that from the back without opening the shortcuts. And that still works. But that was so stressful. <laughs> But it was a really cool way to do it because it felt like you were kind of like rushing against time to save Solera by getting there before he did. Is kind of how it felt. before doing this. I really like the mausoleums where you uh, had to do like something weird, like climb on top of them or something. I think those are the coolest ones. It's called a sunlight maggot. Is that what I said or did I say something else? So I said something similar, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what I said or if I said something else. That is what I said. Ah, oh, nice. Nailed it. <laughs> I kind of started saying something and then I improv myself to something that sounded right mid-sentence. Basically, I started talking before I thought what I was going to say through. Sometimes it works out. I mean, that's basically streaming anyways, isn't it? It's like verbally barfing and I hope you get lucky. elevators if you sit down when an elevator is like in movement it will move to the the end of the path it's moving to i thought maybe this would make him sit down faster nope it just reset him that's lovely i love that wonderful fantastic all right i don't need this talisman anymore <laughs> i messed it up <laughs> so worth it let's see what 
talisman should I be using? Mm. I guess I could raise potency of incantations plus having scorpion charm plus having this. This would be very similar to like how I do caster playthroughs. Like I would probably get like Radagon's icon. I remember that doing that for Dark Souls 3. It would be like the Sage Ring. It would be like the the Clutch Ring, and it would be the two rings that buff like either sorcerers or incantations. Just like all those on top of each other for max damage. Why are some of these not breaking? Did I break it? Destroying these by using... Uh... Oh, I almost died! Worst way to go, honestly. Whatever that sorcery is, that swings the giant magic sword. I'm not sure if that's just called like carrying great sword or something like that. Whichever uh, spell that is, it's really good for doing these things. You just clear the entire leg in one go because it just goes through the leg and hits the ones around the corners and everything. Maybe the ones I broke before I sat down got bugged. So if there's not enough to break now to make it sit down again, I might have to like exit the game or something. Either that or some of these are just fake. sure if you're sitting down or if you're just standing still for a moment. Okay, you're still moving. No? Yes? It's moving so weirdly now. Okay, I got some of them. Are you sitting down now? No? Okay. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna jump underneath it and I get crushed. Yeah, I might have broken it. But hey, From Software, if you need a uh, quality assurance tester for any future From Software games to find bugs, um, call me. <laughs> I'm pretty good at breaking things. I do say so myself. All right, flashbang warning. <laughs> That's not a good thing. It can be a good thing if you use it for good. If I break things so that no one else can, it's a good... Oh, see. See immediately sitting down or what's going on right now? Okay, definitely brought some of these things back. Okay. Are you sitting down? Are you standing up? Are we sitting down? What's happening right here? Talk to me, Moss William.
Is there anything I want to do? Uh, I wanted to dupe the Rikard thing, but I won't be able to cast it anyways. I just want to collect like all the fire-based sorcery slash incantations because they're kind of faith-based, even if that one is like heavily, like it requires both because it's a sorcery. I wonder what the logic between like some... Like, some of these are intelligence faith combined fire damage ones, and some of them are like pure faith. I'm guessing the pure faith ones are anything that uh, originates from the fire giants, and the combined ones has to do with the volcano. I guess it's the logic, right? So these have to do with volcano and magma lizards. These strictly have to do with fire giants. Oh no, not this guy. I hate this guy. I don't like this guy. I don't... The reason why I don't like this guy is because I also don't like... He has a friend somewhere. Do I smell cheese? Is this cheese? That I smell? Is this cheese? There's his buddy, who's half HP, but it usually doesn't matter because he comes uh, in way too late. If it was the first one that was half HP, that would make a difference. Are you just... Oh, he forgot to dodge that one. Damn, that's the easiest those guys has ever been to fight. Yeah, that second one always uh, catches me off guard, which is why I'm very cautious about it. Glad I went all the way around there for a freezing grease times five. Very useful. Honestly, these, like, um, elemental scorpion rings are a really nice way to encourage you to pick one element and stick to it. Because if you wear multiple of these, it's kind of, you know, very dangerous. So it allows you to, like, have builds where you commit to one damage type and uh, feel like you're being rewarded for doing so. Waste oh, that flask, I have heal on kill. Should I swap all my flasks to blue flasks? <laughs> oh, I was gonna dodge that. I wasn't gonna dodge that. That one I was fully accepting that it's gonna hit me. Right, now you guys can chill. Is he gonna blow himself up? That would be really funny if he did. Wait, did he blow himself up? No, there- what? Am I blind? Wait, am I actually blind? I didn't see him. 
Oh, I gotta... No, 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 no. We're going back. I gotta see that. I gotta see... What? Huh? I might actually be blind. Hold on. No, no, he's not there. There's literally no one there. What are you talking about? He, there, there's no one here. What? And I look away and then we turn around and now he's there. <laughs> Where did he come from? Huh? I mean, he's one of those ghost dudes that can teleport, so I guess he was doing something weird. Maybe he, like... I can hear some, I guess. Maybe he walked off or something and then fell down and then he teleported back up. Maybe. I don't know, but, like, he wasn't there for a moment. He's shy. He should have stayed shy. <laughs> what? Oh, birds. Oh, I hate birds. that would work. Where is the bird now? Bird? Did the bird forget how to fly? I swear birds aren't actually flying. They're just levitating off the ground a little bit. Because I've seen birds fall to their death and it's it's weird. Speaking of falling to your death. Ooh, a painting. It's just that. Yeah, that's the painting of the tower. Yep. I don't remember what that gives me. Probably nothing good. Oh, uh, dog. All right, problem solved. Okay, this better be the best counter to birds ever. Ah, I got him. Oh, I need healing. Hold on. If ever, anyone ever needs, like, a reference of what Chaotic Neutral looks like, you just link them my stream. Damn. At least he tried. How about you? Nice. Good job. Okay. Let him cook. Alright. He got cooked instead. Are you evil and you know why? What are you talking about? I've never done anything remotely evil. And if I did, I was probably justified in doing so because I wanted a cool hat. <laughs> oh, God! Is that like the Banished Knight set, but with a different helmet? Kind of looks like it. Oh, all the way back here. It's a good thing those annoying lions don't respawn. I don't like those. Don't respect them. to go. Don't have enough data to watch while I still on the move. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, you probably won't be missing much because I was thinking of calling it uh, when I get to the next side of race. 
in which case I should be back again on Monday. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Demon Lord Jeff. It's been real chill. I hope you have a good day and a good weekend. You'll wait a bit then? Oh, I could be dying 50 times before we get to the side of grace. Could happen. All right, is this a shortcut? Shortcut! Oh, demon bird! No, 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 bird, 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 bird. You don't understand. No, 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 no. I was, I was kidding about the whole dying 50 times before getting to the side of grace. You're only getting McDonald's? Ooh, what are you getting from McDonald's? Can you get me some chicken nuggies and a flurry? <laughs> I haven't had anything from McDonald's in like probably 10 years. Maybe. Maybe less than 10. Let's say five to be on the safe side. It's best served with lava. Got him. There's a side of grace in here, right? Yeah, there is. So I'm gonna make sure I grab the items before I go in there. Probably a McFlurry triple cheeseburger and small portion of whatever cheese is on right now. A. Hey. I know people say the McFlurry is the unhealthiest thing from McDonald's, but I do like them. And honestly, you don't go to McDonald's to be healthy anyway. <laughs> is this a faith weapon? The show tell? Yeah, and uh, Dex Faith. I want to see what this does. I guess it's a cool weapon. I have to check it. I think the skill sounds cool, but I'm not sure if it's actually cool. Uh, or is it? Wait, I have. Did I equip the wrong thing? Yes, I did. This one. Boom. So this is a curved sword. It's awful. Aww. Oh, my heart. Let's see. EDD scalings. Holy damage, physical damage. Yeah, having holy damage is probably not the best thing. Well, how does the skill work, though? Wait, is that Death Blight? Is that Death Blight? Does Death Blight? Yeah, okay. So it. Since it does Death Blight, I assume Death Blight doesn't affect anything that can't be grabbed, like the friggin' Inescapable Frenzy, and probably not half of the things that can be grabbed either. <laughs> it would be fun to use in PvP because you'll probably lose 99% of fights, but if you ever turn someone into a tree, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> That's a shame, though. That's a shame, but it's cool to know that there is a Death Blight weapon. That's something to keep in mind, even though I probably will never get to use it for a PvE playthrough, because that's probably just not feasible. But yeah, that is uh, gonna be it for now. We've been going for over six hours. Oh, I thought we were getting close to six hours. Apparently it's been six hours and 30 minutes now. So yeah, I should probably take a break here and uh, get some food. So yeah, we'll be back on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again next time, and even if I don't, have a great day and also have a great weekend. And I'm gonna peace out. Alright, bye bye We'll do PvP with you if you're ever up to it. Uh, I'd be down for that sometime, probably, yeah. If I ever need, like, something to kill time at, like, an end of a stream or midstream or something, I might uh, take you up on that. Uh, I'm horrible at PvP, though, so you will probably just uh, kick me around, but that could still be fun. All right, I'm going to peace out now. Bye-bye. Uh,